And this is on its way out. The Hate Bit Podcast rides once again. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your favorite band of pricks are here. To my left, from all the way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the indomitable Alpha Omega Sin. Hello, once again. It's been too long. That's what she said. Welcome back. And over to my right, the original hate Brit, Sainted Magnus. Good day, kind sirs. How are you? Uh, it's been four months, oh well. It's been too long. It's good. been far too long. Welcome to the Hate Bit Podcast. Welcome to Pissing in the Live Stream number two. We're going to do our best. We're sorry about the delay, having a little bit of technical difficulty. As you know, Google doing what they can to take over planet Earth does take time, and therefore they have to wait until they have time to help out the Hate Bit Podcast. But we're here to answer your questions and to talk about the pressing issues of our time. So, wasting no time at all, we're going to jump past all this bullshit we had planned for you for a different show, and we're going to uh, entitle this one, What the Fuck Happened to Capcom? And then we'll be right at your questions, your comments, your concerns, and we'll do bits of users, viewer choice, if you will. <laughs> user choice, what the fuck is that? It's a little bit different. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do all that in just a minute, but anyway, Alpha Omega said, What the Fuck Happened to Capcom? Uh, what didn't happen to Capcom? Uh, let's see. Well, firstly, they decided to go and piss off all the people that made them, and then their arrogance got the best of them because they were like, well, you know, fuck all the people underneath us. We know better than them, and fuck all the fans because we know better than them. And, oh, let's try to go and capture the Western audience, i.e., let's go and emulate everything that they do to try to encapsulate an audience that has no interest in our products, thus going and pissing everything away that we've done for the past I don't even know how many years. Exactly. Yes. Kind of, that kind of encapsulates every, how they fucked up. There we go. Well, and, and, and now we have to look at the, the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter being that they're, they're in deep shit financially. Here we go, Mr. Factual. What are you, what are you doing over there, St. Magnus? Are oh, you coming to what, us from Chicago? 150 odd million? Yeah, uh, they've it got like, like jack shit in the bank right now. <laughs> it's uh, what one one hundred fifty-two million altogether, which isn't fuck all in the gaming industry nowadays. Uh, no, of course not. And, yeah, and the more interesting enough. thing, the more interesting thing is the way they're spending what little money they have left. Um, it was just a couple of weeks ago, actually, that it was announced that Ducktales Remaster, which was a digital download available for the Nintendo Wii U, Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, and the PlayStation Three, and was it on the Vita as well? Does anybody remember? I. I don't remember. Don't recall. I not don't think it's on the Vita now. Yeah, uh, not important. Anyway, the game that sold might just be fine. Steam, not, it might be Steam. Oh, okay. Well, the game that sold somewhat okay, I guess, through digital distribution. Oh, we hear you. <laughs> and then a sudden pause. We have a technical difficulty. Are we? It says on air. Yeah. I can still see my ravishing mug, so... I, what uh, we the are fuck live. is... See, we are, thanks, we are Google. Live. What the fuck is going on? We can just... We can do a dance party if everybody wants. Anyway. All right, now it's working again. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties, as I was saying earlier. Um... Saint to Magnus, nice, nice headband. Oh wait, how'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, it's after, after effect. effect. Wow, fantastic! What were we talking about before we had technical difficulties? Oh, we were talking about oh, we see my Watch. Yeah. Anyway, so lots of money spent to make a physical about the version. <laughs> Lots of money spent to make a physical version of DuckTales Remastered. Meanwhile, <laughs> Ace Attorney Dual Destiny is nowhere to be found in the physical realm. Does anyone else find that interesting? Uh, I find that completely fucking annoying considering the fact that we got screwed out of uh, quite a few things from them now, including that. But over in Japan, they got a regular copy and a limited edition copy. I know. What the fuck is this? That suddenly they give a shit about Japan? Yeah, uh, well, because apparently we're we're not interested in it at all, even though people are asking for it. But there's also apparently no interest whatsoever in Mega Man. But then Mighty Number no. Nine somehow just came in with an entire planet of money and said otherwise. <laughs> so. 
Well, but, and, and then there's that. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I don't really get exactly what the fuck they've been doing for the past, I don't even know how many years. It's, let's take all of our franchises and let's do something completely different with it. And all the established fan base can just sit there scratching their heads wondering, well, when the fuck is it going to go back to what it was? And they say, well, it's not. And we're trying to go and bring in those people over there who never had interest in it to begin with, and even after they changed it, still had no interest in it. So they're just fucking idiots. I, I would have to concur. I mean, I, I was reading something, uh, and I forget what I was reading now off the top of my head. You know, I, I, go, I go through all the trouble keeping up notes, and it just never works out for me. But it, isn't it amazing to think how different that company has been viewed throughout the different generations, not just of consoles, but in terms of, you know, over throughout the arcades? Because I think this got brought up through the uh, recent release of the Chronicles of Mistara, on the Nintendo Wii U, and was I think it was also on the Xbox and the PlayStation. And uh, upon reading reviews, um, a lot of people brought something to my attention, which I'd completely forgotten, but that game actually comes out of uh, what some people refer to as the Silver Age of arcade gaming, and it yeah. was simply just a trap for your coins. Hmm. And I thought, how fitting. This is where Capcom has come. Capcom? Come Cap, something. Capcom, after all this time, <laughs> Capcom, Capcom stealing your Capcom coins, something. and that's that's uh, that's just the way they do things. Um, well, I mean, look at how many franchises that are under their belt that most people don't see anymore, or kind of that most modern even. gamers have never even heard of. Yeah, I, I, dude, there's there's so fucking many, and the thing is, like, I shit you not, most people, you know, if, if you looked at their back catalog all the way up until current. You're just like, so you've got like 40 or 50 franchises you're just sitting on for fun. And you have people pounding down your door ready to go and make stuff for you, but you won't fuck with that stuff at all. But you'll give us 90 versions of the same exact Street Fighter game. Yeah. Oh, there's Well, I mean, if, if it worked in the fucking <laughs> 90s, it could work now. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's working according to the fucking sales of each individual title as it just slowly declines. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not about to say it is working. I'm just saying it worked once, and I'm pretty sure they're out of fucking ideas. Yeah, they're like, hey, Street Fighter 2 did it really well, and then Street Fighter 3, we just didn't give a fuck about it. Yeah, never mind. Way. That was 20 years ago. Yeah. But no, it's, uh, it's pretty much just a cash grab with them. I don't really understand. I just hope that they get their shit together or else they're going to go onto an auction block. And it's, and, and it's, it's a sad state of affairs. It really is. It's going to be re history repeating itself with like THQ being sold off. Early. It's just going to be well. Tough. Well, let, let's face it. THQ was, you know, <laughs> they were the Columbia Pictures of their time. They were just there to make stuff to put on a screen. They weren't making great products. Now, I'm, I'm sure there are exceptions to that. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there is a few. Um... But we're not talking about THQ, we're talking Dark about Capcom. Siders. <laughs> oh, that, is that the one? That was the one that they did there. Yeah. Um, but we're talking oh, about God. Capcom. Uh, Capcom is just, oh, God, it's sad. It's sad how they've gone from up here to about their last generation to about somewhere down there in literally <laughs> just a short right, space of time. Right at the gooch. Yeah, right at the gooch. <laughs> <laughs> not far from the poop shoot. If, no, that's, but, if that's what it takes it, to make it, it work. It's, it's quite a fall from grace in 10 years, isn't it? Yeah. Realistically. From making like Resident biggest... Evil 1, 2, 3, all the Mega Man X games, all the Mega Man games, to making just Res Evil games that barely barely scratch the surface. Well, yeah, they're not really making Resident Evil games. They're just making games and then tacking a successful franchise's name on top of it. The same thing they do with movies now, interestingly enough. Well, that's kind of what the newer Resident Evil games kind of remind me of if they were trying to make one of the live-action movies and have an adaptation of it, because that's what it looks like. There's there's definitely no semblance of, like, the old-school games and the newest releases. That's why I'm just hoping that they... Like, they, they went on record saying that... Uh, and, and Google Plus is trying to ask me if I'm still here. Yes, I'm fucking here. Anyhow, <laughs> so, like I was saying before, I was brutally interrupted by the fucking thing. They looked at the Resident Evil remake, and they said, well, that didn't make a lot of money, so we figured that we had to do something drastically different. And drastically different to them didn't make a lot of fucking sense, because they put Resident Evil, the remake, 
on, unfortunately, sad to say it, on the system that was in third place and made it exclusive to that. Whereas yeah. with Resident Evil 4, when they made that exclusive, they decided to go and make that multi-platform, and it made a bajillion dollars. If they would have done it with the remake, it would have made a bajillion dollars. My cat's walking by. He fucking agrees. That <laughs> naturally makes tons of sense. But Absolutely. They, they need to get their fucking shit together and realize that the whole over-the-top fucking, like, action movie likes you know, Resident Evil isn't something that people are really digging now. We just want survival horror, and we want it in the worst way because we don't have that anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and that's pretty much it. And that's one of their biggest series. It's like, you, you can't fuck up with things like Devil May Cry, and they did. I don't give a fuck if anybody's like, GMC was good. According to the fucking sales and the fans, it wasn't. You may like it, but the vast majority were pretty pissed off, and also the ones that gave it a shot were not that impressed. Especially when you consider that we had Devil May Cry 3, which was infinitely superior in every single way. And, and then is. they fucked up with Street Fighter, and they fucked up with Resident Evil. Three of their bigger, biggest franchises, which make them into the biggest company that they are. Now you can't fuck those up, and they are in like in spades. Yep. I don't and, know what else to say. <laughs> Not really much else to say. If we keep going on, we're just gonna want to put a gun in our mouth. I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm. T fuck. There we are now. Great. We have no show. We're gonna have to cancel the show for because of Alpha Omega Sin's death. Thanks to Capcom. But fuck the Sujimoto. Everyone agrees with the cat. That's very important. Now, uh, right before I indulge into the the sainted Magnus diet, um, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go to the phones and we're gonna see what you fine people want to talk about because we've been away for a while. We apologize for that. We'll try and be around more often. I'm sure you heard the same thing from your father years ago, but this time we mean it. So, without further ado, we're gonna go to the phones and see what the nice people want to talk about. In the meantime, um, please watch Alpha Omega Sin and his cat. Yeah. My cat Loki's awesome. So quick, everyone, to the phones. Your questions this minute. I'm going to drink this old beer. All right. I'm, I'm just going to start reading random crap off in the comments. Are you got? Wait, any of you guys played the Fear Games? I played them. I played all of them. Played all of them. Loved all of them. Uh, I don't I like know really them. anything about the Fear Games myself. Um, Fear 2 is amazing. Fear 3 got a lot of shit for some reason. It's actually a pretty damn good game. I don't know why it got as much flack as it did. Uh, wasn't as good as 2, but it's still a good game. Uh, Fear 1's alright. It just uh, came off as terribly dated by the time I got my hands on it. So, I don't know. But Fear 2 is fucking awesome. I would like to see uh, Fear 4 if possible. It has a really good story. Like, really, 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 really good. Really, I, I, I like um, Fear and Fear Extraction Point because they were just they kind of like part one, part two of Fear. Uh, Perseus Mandate wasn't really that great, to, in my opinion, but first Fear for me, thought it was fantastic. Still do now. Still scares the bejesus out of me. Yeah. And we, sort of, we. Well, good. I'm glad. It's a bird. Yeah. Uh, well, we got a very good question right here from uh, YouTube user Kurtz Corner, and Kurtz says, Alpha Omega Sin, did you go to Ground Control Classic Arcade when you were in Portland, Oregon? Uh, no. <laughs> you didn't? Are, um, you, you, are you telling me, are you looking me in the face and telling me you found something else to do in Portland, Oregon? Yes. Oh, well, please go on. Um, it, it pretty much, there was like two hotels where everybody was partying, so we kind of just congregated all into one hotel room, and then had security called on us multiple times, meaning we were doing it right. So, uh, yeah, we filled up an entire bathtub filled with ice and beer because the refrigerator was busted because, you know, that hotel was being super and stuff. But uh, we hooked up a Super Nintendo. Um, it was actually one of the clone models, but still. We were playing Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and getting piss-ass drunk and having an awesome, tacular time. But, uh, yeah, I didn't go down there. At all. Did you did you throw a TV out of the window? That that is one thing you have to do in a <laughs> Actually, hotel when we, you're partying. We weren't dangling stuff out the window. Um, I I I took a roll of toilet paper and wrote penis on it, and then we dangled <laughs> that out the window. Um, <laughs> and then uh, down below us, there were some other people we knew in the room, so we put one of those uh, GoPro cams, and we had it on a big thing of fucking wire, 
and we were trying to see inside their room because they wouldn't pay attention to us. I mean, we we know them. It's not like we were being pervs. Well, we were slightly being pervs. But, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> toilet paper, it says penis, and then a camera hitting against the fucking window. It was... It was good fun. It was all good fun. It was, it was healthy. It was you know. all good fun. Yeah. Absolutely. All no, right. Um, we got another question here from YouTube user Nicholas Pantazelos. <laughs> Nicky Pants, we call him. And he says, Alpha Omegason, are you now part of the Retroware TV Wolf Pack? Um, uh, no. It, because, see, if I was going to be anybody, I would end up being, like, I don't know, um... I, I, well, the closest thing I could probably be is like Edge, looks wise, I guess. Uh, and he was never in the NWO. And they already took up all the good characters in NWO, so it's like, who am I going to be? Am I going to be like Wolfpack Sting? I fucking hated when he was in the Wolfpack. Like, he looked like a dumb dildo. That fucking depressed the shit out of me. So now I'd, I'd just be Edge. Even Love him or hate him, it's about the closest thing I can get it. So, yeah. That's all. You okay, well, that's, that's, that's good. I, I thought you were part of the hate bit wolf pack, but that's all right. I see how it is. Yeah, well, we, no. could, we, could, <laughs> we could always put a mask on him and call him Rey Mysterio. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, I could probably get a mask. Hold on. There. There, go to more questions. I'm going to get a mask. All right, let's see what we got here. We got any good questions here? Uh, let me see here. Do you guys think that David Cage should try and make real games or fuck the fuck off out of the industry? Well, that was a pretty easy one, but um, I don't know. I'm not really sure what David Cage makes. I think he makes interactive films, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Is that isn't that what he 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 did he did heavy heavy rain right? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, I that would mean he also did Indigo Prophecy and um, Beyond Two Souls. Uh, yeah, like I said. Blank and the midget. Because yeah, when I see fun, I think fucking Willem Dafoe and Ellen Page. Yeah, the plank and the uh, midget. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, he can stay around. He can fuck off and leave. It's not really going to make any kind of a difference to me, to be completely honest. So, yep. I I think he should change his accent. Wait, he should just change his accent? Is that going to make it? <laughs> yeah. Is that going to fix everything? <laughs> It might do. It might make him sound less pretentious. When Mr. Cage, can you change your accent? It might help your career. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it, wor it works for James Bond villains. It does, yes. <laughs> no, James Bond villains only get better depending on the gimmick that they apply. <laughs> uh, that's true. That well, and their nationality does help sometimes. Hmm. Uh, YouTube user Zellamorph67 wants to know: Are you guys ever going to talk about E3 2013? No. I was like, well, it was a while back. You saw it. What'd you think? Uh. Well, we know what you think, have, Satan Magnus. PlayStation nice... Four. I heard. No, actually, I was going to say they have nice lighting effects. They have what now? They had nice lighting. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's important. I second the lighting. They have nice. Yeah, lighting good lighting. Effects. Not to mention positive uh, editing. Good editing over there. Yeah, they, they well, didn't do so least... well with the sound. I've, I've... <laughs> no, and they did better than they did at Gamescom with the uh, with the broadcast. Well, well even uh, so, hold on. Uh, should Peter Molyneux stick his dick in a grizzly bear glory hole? Yes. Yeah, sure. Why not? I can't no, think. I think, I think, to. He, I, no, want I the, think he should stick want... his head in a meat grinder. <laughs> I, I want the, all the grizzly bears to run a train on him, circus style. Ring like the fucking ringleader there, just send her fucking whipping shit. It'll be awesome and great for everybody. <laughs> Parliament Bailey, I copy wrote that shit, so you will have to come to me when you need that idea. So you best write it down. Get down to the patent office in the morning. I did it with my mind. So with um, yeah. you lie. I'm in the X Men. <laughs> <laughs> You're, 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 you're a nightcrawler, aren't you? Oh, man, if I could be anybody... I'd be Gambit. Dude, Gambit's so awesome. He can kiss uh, Rogue and not not actually lose any dude, power. Dude, come on. Gambit's cool because he could seriously like take out one of his pubic hair, charge it up, fling it at your face, and blow it up like an M80. Yeah, but... That's if, if, hey, 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 if Gambit were that great, don't you think he would have fixed Louisiana by now? Oh, I well. think so, too. I never thought about that. That's fucked up, man. Don't hey, 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 I didn't make him Cajun. They made him Cajun. <laughs> Let them pay for it. Oh. 
going to go and try and thrust this on me. I don't think so. I, hey, I have to thrust everything on everybody. Girl. Everyone. Jason Michalucci says, what movie would you like to see made as a game? Ooh. Hmm. I, I'd like... I, I can say... A I'd love to see a to John see Wayne movie made into, like, a Red Dead Revolver type game. The, what, you mean, like, True Grit? Yeah, well, that's a good one, but that's True more of a Grit comedy. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, like, some of them old Western movies turn into a video game. It, it's just right for the picking. I'd like to see a Dirty Harry game made out of the films. That would actually be really cool. I concur. Yeah. I'll, I'll second that and then some. You know what's funny is that there was actually a discussion some years ago, and I've been meaning to share this with the hate bit audience for a long time. But I remember one time at a friend of mine's house, we were playing uh, Lego Star Wars, and I said to my buddy Neil, I said, Neil, don't you think they should have a Space Balls the video game? He says every man in America would buy Space Balls the video game, I'd and we've sure yet to see Space Balls the video game. I space would Balls love the video that game. Idea. I, I I would want it to be like a point and click adventure. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Lay that on me. How would you want that to work out? Okay, here. Think about it like this. You already know that it's going to go for a niche audience, but what the thing is, we, we want the humor to be intact, so I'd, I'd want to take, like, the people who did, you know, the Walking Dead games, not Fuck Division. We, we want the good people that make it, and then have them apply <laughs> that craft, make a really awesome game, and then I want the people from, like, Factor 5 to come in and give us, like, spaceship flying sequences. Bam. There you go. The other cat's walking by. She agrees. Fuck yeah. The cats agree. I tell you, this this yeah. this this pissing in the live stream has everything. Cats running past. Spaceballs, the video game. It doesn't get any better than this. Uh, let me How see would, here. What, what system would we put the Spaceballs, the video game, on? Oh. On PC. everything. Why would you limit it? It goes on everything. No. I think I think I don't know. Do you like point and click adventures on a console? I don't. No, I don't. I prefer them on if maybe we go with go with this and put it on the Wii U because of the touchpad on the Wii U. I think that would be pretty novel. Or maybe even a tablet, iPad. Android. That might work too. Or, Unfortunately, or we the, can get the creepy uh, controller from Valve where like you stick your fingers uh, into the portals and then it's touching nipples and shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the, I I saw the comic. I know what happens. That's why I don't. I don't want to touch the controller. I know where my thumbs are really going. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> They're talking about revolutionizing. What I'm really getting out of it is like lactation residue all over my fucking thumbprint, and I can't. I can't deal with that. I, I can't understand the design choices behind that joypad. It's like somebody saw somebody playing on a tablet, playing a fucking shit on a tablet, or any. A kind of tablet game where you use two thumbs, and thought that was a good idea. Let's implement it in a joypad, and that hence we were ended up with the disco biscuits on the uh, on the joypad. I hope for their sake that they allow for keyboard and mouse setup because I looked at it and I was like, no, I'll just stick with keyboard and mouse. That that shit sounds like much more awesome. And if I need to use a using controller, I'll just hook up my 360 controller, and there you go. I'm pretty much still set for gaming on PC without the weird portal nipple problem that we were just discussing. Yes. Any more questions? Yeah, of course, plenty. Huh? Pink Pyro's Muffin says, do you like the Wii U? What is your take on the system? I guess he means all of us. Um, well, well, Alpha Omega and myself, we own the machine. Saint and Magnus, you've been telling me that you've been thinking about buying it for some time. Is that true? About buying it for some time. Mostly for, you know, like the, the exclusive games, like New Super Mario Bros. U., uh, Zombie U, like we were talking about the night, and recently I've been having a look at that uh, Wind Waker HD remake, and mm -hmm. actually that looks kind of beautiful. Oh, it does. I saw it in person at the uh, Comic Con event they did, and it was fantastic. I have to tell you, but how does, um, it, how does hmm? it play? That's what I want to know. Huh? Uh, I didn't get a chance. The line was a mile long, but I will tell you that it looks fantastic. And they had big screen TVs. They had like I'd never saw like a 62 inch screen before, but it was just amazing. Um, now, Alpha Omega, and how are you enjoying your Nintendo Wii U? Um, I haven't gotten to play it a whole lot lately, despite the fact that like new Luigi U came out and Pikmin 3s come out, uh, because I'm. I'm really behind on playing stuff, so everything I've been playing is portable. So, and now with Pokemon coming out, I'm going to be even further behind. 
<laughs> you can't wait, time. can you? Are you gonna Are you gonna get it uh, first thing tomorrow? Uh, as soon as I'm able to like get some time to myself, because I've got I've got it sitting right here. So and the slot is empty. That's what she said. And Ooh. I'm going to I, first thing that goes inside here is gonna be uh, Pokemon Y and. Uh, yeah, I'll be really happy. Plus, I can start transferring my Pokemon from my other games because I need to quite a bit. But uh, as for the Wii U, like, I've actually had a lot more fun with some of the games I didn't expect to, like Nintendo Land. Didn't expect to get into that all that much. I just wish they'd build upon it. I don't fucking get it. Like, why isn't there online play with this? Why aren't you expanding the park and making it bigger? I think that that's like a fucking breeding ground for awesomeness that's like untapped. Um, that uh, new Super Mario Brothers like you was incredibly fun. I actually got people to buy a Wii U just because I took it down the house and everybody sat around playing that. So that's been that's been good. It's been good. I just can't wait for things like Bayonetta two and uh, uh what you call it um the we don't know if it's Xenoblade two or or Xeno Gears two or wherever the fuck it's really going to be called, but uh, that game yeah because it looks appealing and then some. Right. Absolutely right. And Absolutely you... right. I'm done. I'm just going through the questions here. Uh... We thought you'd fallen asleep. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. I'm busy with my Halloweeny. Um, four gimmick puppet says, guy, guy, don't you talk to me that way? He says, how do you feel about fucking Jubilee not being in any X Men movies? She has been in an X Men movie. Hasn't she? I. Yeah, she was in the first one. I don't know. I mean, honestly, if you're getting upset about the X-Men movies, you could do worse. I was going to say, if you're getting upset about Jubilee, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've never given a fuck about Jubilee at all. I was like, isn't that the bitch that does the fireworks with her yeah, yellow she... trench coat? Fuck her. Yeah. <laughs> but she, no, I mean, in the comics, she's actually movies. like pretty fucking badass, admittedly. I made fun of her when I was younger, but you know, reading more of like the newer stuff, uh, yeah, they made her pretty fucking OP. I'm like, that's that's pretty awesome. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm just like whatever. But you can't so, say that you care. Not really, no. <laughs> uh, Lupicillo says, "Are you planning on playing any Halloween games?" And I think he means over throughout the course of October. If you've been paying attention to the El Chaos program on the Monster Mash, you'd know that that's all we do. And Alpha Omega Sin was saying earlier that he feels guilty for not having done that. Isn't that true, Alpha Omega Sin? That is true. Uh, if you haven't actually seen, you should actually just open a tab and go check out Yo Chaos, who has actually been doing that, whereas my ass has been slacking. Um, but, yeah, I want to do Resident Evil 2 really, really bad, because that's something I've been meaning to play, mm -hmm. and I think it'd be a lot of fun, because I've enjoyed playing the other Resident Evil games, so Resident Evil 2 is something I still have. Uh, I have most of the game memorized. Um, for, for the the most part, not Claire's game, because I don't play hers as often because she has that mm -hmm. stupid fucking spark shot, and I hate that gun. And not to mention, you got a little blonde snot nose following you around for the whole goddamn yeah, game. Yeah, Sherry's going to run around, and it's like, okay, you have to take control of her, and I'm like, oh, Jesus, fuck my eye craze. Like, my, like my cat Navi doesn't want to play as Sherry. I don't. I'd rather just see Ada running around being mysterious and then, you know, blowing Leon during the cutscenes that we're not seeing. So, yeah. <laughs> Yo, okay, Chaos, do you have... Oh, wait, you know what? Here, Mr. Magnus, do you plan on playing any kind of... Doing sainted plays and things like that? Oh, sainted selections. I've not done one of them for a while. See, you're a fucking slacker, too. Slacker. Well, I've been slacking because I've been busy. Uh, but... uh, you know what I hear? In time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so busy. I'm so busy, I can't play something for. I'm busy getting play. tattoos on my forearms. Yeah, man. what are you gonna do? Get 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 more tattoos? I, I'm tattooed less, and that's fucking depressing. Look, look at this awesome fucking like bright white skin, paper white. It needs ink on it, so it looks like I might have a tan of sorts. Seriously, kids, fuck the sun. It's overrated. It's just a big ball of bullshit. You can go fuck itself. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna look through the questions now. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I do know. that. I'm, I'm. I got people trying to contact me. You bastards oh, are trying to contact me on the Facebook, trying to get to steamline your fucking questions these, in there. These are going so fucking fast. Hey, Alpha. Since I know that you're a big fan of anime, what's your thoughts on the current big 
Free, One Piece, Bleach, Naruto. My opinion is I don't watch any of them. DBZ. Boom! What was it? Ooh, was that a Falcon have you, punch have you seen right the there? Yet? Dude, it, it, it's... It, here's the honest truth. Like, I, I, out of any of them, the only one I've even seen is Bleach, and I just saw random episodes, and I know it's one of those things, like, you have to watch them consecutively. So, with them being such big series, it's... I'd never catch up on them, and I'm still, like, trying to catch up on the Persona anime, and this other one I just started watching, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Also, so, yep. watch Battle of the Gods. Uh, I am so it. white, I am blinding. You're goddamn fucking straight. Put some fucking sunglasses on when I strip <laughs> in this. You wear your sunglasses at night. So you watch can, Battle so of the you gods. can. Watch Battle of the Gods. It is an absolutely fantastic Dragon Ball Z movie. And I hope... Oh, dude, but th I'm waiting for that shit to be in English. Oh, I do not feel thought? like reading fan-made subtitles and other goofball bullshit. Make that in English so we can all watch it the way that should be because the English DBZ voice cast is awesome. So yes. that's how it should be. And the new Dragon Ball Z game out next year. Oof. That's going to be fun. Alpha Magazine, what is your favorite Dragon Ball Z character? Vegeta. Vegeta? Yeah. Yeah. With, with just with, without without even considering it, just right down the middle. Yeah. Ever since I first watched it, I thought Vegeta was badass, and this was like back whenever they first started airing it, and I thought that he was really cool. But I was I was sad because I thought, you know, oh, he's a bad guy, he's gonna die, and then that'll be it. Little did I know. But uh, yeah, Vegeta's always been. You really know what? Good. You know what I just realized? I have a question for Alpha Omega Sin. No one cares what I want to know, and I want to know. Alpha Omega Sin, who is the king of the ladder match? Oh, man. Good. Think about that for a while. I will. I'm, I'm actually going to... I'm going to let you in take fact, care In fact, you know what, business. fans out there in the comment section? Tell me, who is the king of the ladder match? And don't say me, because you know about all that. Damn it. Look at you know that. What? Look at that. Everyone's just thinking real hard. I'm, you know what? I'm going to say this, and I don't care who disagrees, but it's just because of the way it all started, but Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, you think so? Because, man, he legitimately, like, ladder matches weren't shit until Shawn Michaels came along and made them into something. And that's the truth. Well, I, mean, I will say he made them into the spectacle they are. You'd seen... Yeah. Uh, ladder matches throughout the NWA history in the late 80s and early 90s, but just like everything else, it looked like two guys beating the shit out of each other while trying to paint something. <laughs> really upset because they're not going to get that corner of the house. Exactly, and it seems like you're right. I mean, at least the the eponymous ladder match, the one between uh, Shawn Michaels and Scott Hall at WrestleMania 10, I think that's one that really showed the history books anyway, that you can tell a story. <laughs> yep. With the fucking ten foot ladder. Not just that, but I really feel like that was Scott Hall's breakout match in a lot of ways. Oh uh, like well, this. for me, I mean, I was, I mean, it's hard for me to say because I know Scott Hall to have been a more, I don't want to say established wrestler, but people were aware of his wrestling skill before he went to work for Vince McMahon. I mean, that's true, but think about the mass populace. Who True. That's the. Like, I think that's the one you're right. That really got him over and turned him into just this icon that could be. See, right. that's that's all that I mean. Is like you know, uh, amongst people that were just introduced to him as Razor Ramon, and I guarantee people in fucking. Uh, somebody said Rikishi. <laughs> Rikishi was in a ladder match. Dude, Rikishi. How many... <laughs> oh no. Uh... Oh man, a Rikishi, fuck him. <laughs> that dude, that dude Rikishi is a fucking... ladder, that's just that's a recipe for bad news. Look, Rikishi has no business being on a ladder whenever one dimple in his ass can encompass all of you as if it's a goddamn fucking swimming pool. Fuck that. It is not okay. You do not no. No. You don't do that. You you, you just you don't. Oh, don't forget uh, Yoko Zuna. Alpha and Yell Chaos, do you like Vampire Hunter D or Helsing Anime? Uh, I'm not familiar with either of those. Sainted. Vampire Hunter D is absolutely fantastic, but I've not watched the Van Helsing animes yet. It's not Van Helsing, it's just called Helsing. No, bitch. I'm using the proper terms, bitch. 
Okay, one, Van Helsing is a person. Helsing is an He was a doctor, and you should show him respect. Mm. Oh, but um, and if anybody paid attention, I actually uploaded a top five anime series video. Jeez. Jeez. But no, um, uh, as far as Helsing ago. goes, uh, Helsing Ultimate. Do not even bother watching the regular Helsing series, because Helsing Ultimate wipes the fucking floor with it fucking coughs it up all over people's grandparents and gives no shits whatsoever. It's fucking amazing and follows the books to a T. And Vamp Vampire Hunter D is pretty damn awesome, but admittedly I like Bloodlust a little bit more. It's just, it's gorgeous and beautiful and amazing in every way. So. All that stuff. And that's the way the vampires should be, by the way. They don't sparkle or any other fucking shit like yeah. that. They kill, like... <clears throat> And it's just, it's bloodshed everywhere, and it smiles and all that stuff, all that gore and violence. <laughs> you can waste everybody on camera if you want. Oh, it's live right now. You're actually, there's like shit tons of people right now watching. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that that was my niece, everyone. So, um, and now she's she's running away with the red face. <laughs> red face. Oh, that's awesome. Bye, Courtney. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I was waiting for somebody to walk by. I was like, dude, you can see my kitchen. Somebody's gonna go by there eventually. <laughs> Not just the cats. Oh man. All right, what, what, what other questions do we have? I don't know. It's going so goddamn fast, I tell you, Slow man. Slow them down. I know. I'm going to have to like, put a strainer in front of them. Somebody said uh, Triple H ruined pro wrestling. Fuck him. I, that's not a question, but I agree. It's man, a statement. And it's it's me, a valid statement. Wrestling was getting fucked up far before Triple H was even established his fucking dick in Stephanie McMahon's cooter. I assure you 100%. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, he, but don't forget, he did, uh, so, you know, Severely entrench himself in sports entertainment. Oh uh, yeah, because you can't be a wrestler; you have to be a sports entertainer. Uh, he's, not, he's not very entertaining, though. I don't know, man. He's had, he's had some place, and he's had really good with. matches, despite the fact that he's a fucking douche nozzle. He's had some pretty damn good matches if you look throughout his entire career. Oh, uh, absolutely! Like you mean, like him versus the Ultimate Warrior? It was at WrestleMania 16. I don't even remember that. Or was oh, that God. WrestleMania? Was that WrestleMania 14? Well, see, I you're forget. going back. Like all this shit's fresh in your head. You remember dates and stuff. I'm like, I remember this one time, and they did a move. It was. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I remember he did the pedigree. Remember? Yeah, remember? Yeah, that remember? one match. In that one match. Pedigree? Yeah, that that one time. Yeah. yeah. Good uh, stuff. Oh, uh, here, this question. What do you think about Square Enix's new crowdfunding effort? Uh, I'm trying to fucking scroll up now. What do you think about Square Enix's new uh, crowdfunding effort with the Indiegogo called Collective? Dude, I have not heard about that. Yeah, I haven't either. That's why I'm like, what's, I'm unfamiliar with this. Uh, I'll be honest. I Legit, I have no fucking clue about it, but it's Square Enix doing stupid shit probably. Not shocked. If they want to do something, like, these motherfuckers want to go to Indiegogo or fucking Kickstarter, how about you do it for Final Fantasy VII Remake and then give me a fucking call or remake Final Fantasy VI I don't know. It give me Ergies two or Einhander two or fucking Brave Fencer Musashi, like the, not the one on PlayStation two, but another one. That would be extremely nice. <laughs> oh, that'd be sweet. Oh yeah, uh, and yes, fuck Ryback Goldberg all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I always call him Roydback, and it's funny because uh, when he was doing the Feed Me More chant, he'd be like Feed Me More. He actually on his tights across his ass it said Feed Me More. And it's like, <laughs> you think about this? He's like, feed my ass more. Feed more. my More! And it's like, dude, come the fuck on, man. That shit's ridiculous. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, anyway. you, YouTube user Don, oh, God, I think it's Patchy, says, uh, favorite horror movie? Mine is The Night of the Living Dead. George Romero. I do not have a particular favorite because that is too hard of a question to answer. But I have Here favorites. Comes list. Here comes a list. Well, then you have to give me a top three. Give me a top five. Give me a top ten, Alpha Omega Sin. Well, here. I'm going to ask Sainted because uh, he probably has an answer at least. Evil Dead. The second one. The first one. one or second one? Second one. 
All right. Uh, I guess I'll just toss random ones out there. Uh, Friday there the 13th, go. Part 6, Reanimator, uh, Dawn of the Dead, the original, because the remake is fucking garbage. Don't give a fuck what you got to say. Um, the original Night of Living Dead, um, Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 3, The Thing, the original, not the fucking remake. Um Halloween 1 and 2, which essentially are just one big clusterfuck movie. There you go. <laughs> I, I didn't know what else. Uh, I, I seriously can't pick one. I'm just one of those people like, I have to pick one over the rest. Nope. Won't do it. Can't do it. Oh, and naturally, Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness, because they're fucking awesome and fuck yeah. They should be just one movie, to be honest. One long I've always found movie. those movies to be overrated. You're overrated. You're overrated. Yeah, you are. You're the news. <laughs> well, I prefer to be Huey Lewis. Thank you very much. Mm. All right. Anyway, uh, Lupacilla wants to know: Did you, Alpha? Did you show Connect your jolly Irish cock yet? Did I show what? Did you show the Connect your jolly Irish cock? Oh, um, well, my 360 is not ever online, <laughs> so it won't even matter because there won't be anybody on the receiving end. Of the well, you might do it for fun, just like, ah! Oh, you got to do one of those. So it's just like doing this and shit. <laughs> so that's, that's the no, only no, way. You, no, no, you got to do like the windmill. <laughs> See, that's, that's a lot more effort than I'm willing to. The only time you do that is if there's women there to tip. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> and it's like time to fan this bitch off because she's getting the vapors. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, let me see. Hey, Bit, what's your favorite Castlevania character? Oh, Alucard. Okay. I'm going with fucking chaos on that. It's Alucard. Alucard's a bad motherfucker. He can moonwalk too. Yeah, yeah. It, you fucking moonwalk somebody. Like, oh, who's overrated? Your mom's overrated, and your face is overrated. But we're not judging. So, Alucard's just a bad motherfucker. Richter's pretty badass. Uh, Soma's pretty cool, admittedly. Especially whenever, like, you thought, oh my god, he's gonna be evil, which he should have been. But yeah. Saying it, who the fuck is your favorite character within the Castlevania universe? I'm just I'm just gonna stick with uh, Soma because so Soma was the first actual Castlevania character I played with, and he's he's just like he doesn't want to be evil, but he ends up being evil, but he can't be evil. And plus, when he runs, he's got that cool bloody aura that follows him behind. So, dude, the only thing that bothers me about Soma is he has that like vintage fucking uh, Beatles haircut and shit where it looks like you could turn his head upside down and eat cereal from it. That shit bugs yeah. me. But other than that, he's a bad motherfucker. Don't forget, we, we forgot Sam in Belmont. Sam in Belmont's pretty cool, but I don't know, man. Richter just looked cool as fuck, especially when he had, like, the long coat and shit and he had long hair. I'm like, oh, he looks badass as fuck. Oh, my God. That's so cool. It was, it was that... It was that oh, wait, wait, hold on. Uh, I, I, I want to fucking take you. But what's your guys' thoughts on a death battle between Goku and Superman? I'm going to tell everybody this right now, because I want to fucking cover it, whether you like it or not, because half the fucking people that end up answering this, they just pick who their favorite is rather than who could actually win. You can take the strongest version of Goku and the strongest version of Superman. Superman would eat him alive. And that's the sad truth. I fucking love Goku, and I love DBZ, but Superman Prime is a fucking god. I'm talking he can create reality and end it with, with a thought. If you get bored, look it up. He's, like, all gold and shit, and the dude is, like, doesn't give a fuck. He can pretend, like, you know, oh, man, I'm going to fight Goku, and he makes, like, 50 Gokus, and then makes them all disappear and turn into fucking, like, Powder Toast Man from Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> no fucks given. <laughs> The, the, this is Superman Prime we're talking about. But legitimately, yeah, it's hard to pick a winner when you like both of them a whole lot, but, you know. Don't get that shit twisted! No <laughs> saying. Yeah, but Batman's Dana, gonna be... You gotta have something to say, because you're a big DBZ guy. Uh, well, let, let's just look at the Screw Attack video that they made. It was phenomenal just seeing them fight. It was very well edited, well well animated, well put together. Some of the things are a bit cheesy, but at least it was a good fight. Now to the result. I, the G DBZ fan in me wants me to say 
you know, dr- you know, Goku. But Superman, when you think about it, he gets his power from the sun. Goku has to train. So the sun's always shining on Superman. He's going to have unlimited power. So basically, the stats are against Goku. But how can a superhero that can get beaten by Batman, who has no powers, beat Batman Goku? Batman has Batman's superpowers. Batman's a scientist. Batman is Batman. His power is Batman. And charisma and money and bitches. And money, never forget money. Yeah, yeah. Money. And anytime somebody's like, Batman doesn't have superpowers, and I'm like, what if he Batmaned you? Then what? Well, if you say I Batman don't, doesn't have I any don't superpowers. Care. Batman's best. It's like, Batman's I dare you to walk up to, like, fucking Ted Turner and tell him he doesn't have superpowers. He can make <laughs> you fucking disappear. <laughs> he just go like this. And He'd call Captain Batman, Planet, that's what he'd do. He does. He does. At any time the Batman goes to smack somebody, it just turns into money. Like as his hands <laughs> coming down, it's just tons of money. And then money. They and it comes up as numbers, dollar signs, and numbers everywhere, like for maximum damage. And if somebody said that there is there is a maximum limit. He broke it because it's Batman. <laughs> Batman can beat everybody. Nobody can beat Batman. Batman wins. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Batman for me. <laughs> so it should be Superman rules all unless Batman's there. Yeah, it, you know what? It'd be Goku versus Superman. Nobody wins because Batman showed up and fucked them up. Batman would fuck just them. Say just... He just he just pull out money and block it. Are you gonna say that can't work? Like, do you know how much money he has? He'd be like money shield. <laughs> <laughs> and and some people like yeah, well, uh, I'll shoot him. No, no, you won't. He'll. It'd be like, he'll shoot money at you from a bazooka. <laughs> yeah, and even if you don't die immediately, you'll get an infection from how disgusting money is. Yeah, oh, uh, money is really That's how much bad. money there actually oh is. God, Ladies and gentlemen, you would not fucking believe it, but the man of the hour, the ravaging Razor Fist! Hey, we can't hear you! And we can't hear shit Razor Fist is saying. Yo, what's up? There he is! Uh, I'd like for all of you Kansas City sweat hogs to sit back and take a look at the sexy... You called me Ravishing Razor. I know, I did. <laughs> I had to do the Rick Reed. <laughs> now while you take a look at a real man. <laughs> at a real man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let the floodgates open for questions for Razor Fist as well. Razor Fist, welcome to Pissing in the live stream. i am I'm got the pissing covered already. Well, and we're glad, we're thankful you could show up, despite the best efforts of Google to stop this this display of power. Anyway, we were talking about uh, Batman backhanding Superman. Would you care to, to join us? Well, hold on. Which which time are we talking here? Ah, here we go. Well, we were the original question was Goku versus Superman, and then eventually I just said it doesn't matter because Batman would come in and then just beat them down with money. His real superpower. <laughs> <laughs> or well, he we were gonna do that all day. I guess Tony fuck? Stark would bludgeon them both into submission with his big old Scrooge money bags. I yeah, but Tony Stark seems like he's just not good with money. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has he has lots and lots of alcohol to spend it on, and lots yeah. and, and lots of lots of lady interest too. Alimony, yeah. <laughs> See, and well, then that, that's how money goes. Anyway, so we're taking questions right here on Pissing in the live stream, and we hope you guys are enjoying the show. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Oh, Fist, you wouldn't believe it, but Cybernetic Slayer is rocking with Dokken this evening, which is good to hear. That's... Uh, YouTube user Jeremy Knopf wants to know, what do you guys think about the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? That's the television series that just come out, right? Uh, I thought David Hasselhoff was amazing in it. <laughs> I haven't seen it, so break it down for me. <laughs> no, no, it's no. Don't uh, break it down. Okay. No, Hassel. I'm I'm referring to the the Nick Fury show from the '90s. Oh. The, the, TV movie, <laughs> the TV movie from the '90s with David Hasselhoff, which was essentially Knight Rider just with more makeup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really want to see the show. I haven't gotten a chance to, and I'm like, oh my god, I have to catch up on the episodes of Arrow that I missed, and now this, so it's kind of difficult. Yeah. Have you ever been much of a Nick Fury fan? I didn't mind Nick Fury. I, I I can't say I was opposed to Nick Fury, actually. Let me put it that way. 
<laughs> He's. I'll tell you this about Nick Fury. Jim Steranko, the guy who is responsible for pretty much everything that involves Nick Fury, you know? Yeah, and time. also responsible for propagating suntan products until the end of time. Yeah, him and George Hamilton have officially... <laughs> <laughs> him, George Hamilton, and Lorenzo Lamas. They've become one. I think <laughs> I, you they are bonded in suntan. You think there's there's a portrait in his attic that gets darker with each passing year? <laughs> Anyways, so like, but but like, it, it's freaking ridiculous. I don't I don't understand like this the TV. I don't understand why they would think this is the property to turn into a long running like TV. No series. kidding, right? I don't well, I don't get that at all. Like, I can tell you what it is. It's exactly because it's correct. one of the only shows that they could make that wouldn't require shit tons of CG. <laughs> that's true. And that and that keeps expense down, and I think that's mostly what people are looking at now. But, I, uh, I just, I mean, I remember when I heard that, like, they're going to do an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I mean, it, it, it must be the same people who keep putting money into Punisher movies. No one gives a fuck about the Punisher. Hey, At least Warzone, not... Warzone was great. If you but, like... but look how many fucking dollars it made. Yeah, that's true. It made. I'm like not saying it was a bad movie, and even the movie with Thomas Jane had its moments. But the fact of the matter is, you cannot throw money at a character no one cares about. Oh man! Oh dear, dear, dear me! My roommate's gonna be so mad. Well, um, he can be mad all he fucking wants. <laughs> I love The Punisher, and make no mistake, but movie-going audiences don't care. Uh, Why do you um, think Sweeney Todd didn't perform as well as they expect? Anti-heroes <laughs> just are not where it's at. If you want to sell merchandise. <laughs> no, I, I, well, here's yeah, I, I agree. You have to pick and choose with your properties, but I don't know. This, the Punisher, the Punisher could have potentially made a lot of money. It's just, I think, I think part of the problem with Punisher making money in Hollywood is they started off with the Dolph Lundgren film, well, and yeah. it doesn't exactly, you know, that's not exactly racking them up. So you can wait. Are you bad mouthing right? Louis Gossett Jr.? <laughs> are, are, are you doing this in front of me right this instant? No, I agree with you. I I saw the movie. Hey, dude, you're talking to the guy who thinks Cobra is an art film. Okay, it is. I love Punisher. Dude, Cobra is amazing. Cobra is a fucking is a masterpiece. He didn't shop there. <laughs> he didn't shop. There. He didn't shop there. <laughs> Won't you tell me otherwise? Sainted <laughs> Magnus has gone to sleep. I know. <laughs> you look quit, like quit dying. He looks like one of the Furbies that just on standby. Yeah, you know what your problem is, Sainted Magnus. You're too violent. It's. it's <laughs> It's all that sugar you're eating. Eat some fish and rice. You know what I think it is? Actually, his video looks like it might be frozen. Maybe he's fixing his fucking crooked flag. Finally. <laughs> Actually, We've been hold telling on. him to fix it because have... it's like at an angle. Hold on. I have to complete the ensemble. I'll return in just a moment. Oh, wait. He's going to go get the Lemmy flag. <laughs> I want a flag. I have anyway, flag. I, guess, I guess we can take more questions while we're waiting. Uh, yes. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Soul Scorcher says BS. Pacific Rim got a good viewership and it was garbage. Here we go. Can't talk about Cobra without the matchstick in the mouth. You got the matchstick in the mouth. Oh man, look at this guy. <laughs> Actually, you, you got the you got them you got them uh, you got them shark skin boots on too. Yeah, it really. All right. You know, and even with this matchstick in my mouth, I'm still a better public speaker than the irate gamer. I know. It, good for you. <laughs> And on the other hand, though, you're you're kind of fighting a trying to see what's going on here. Uh... And then the Google just booted me the fuck out. Yeah. What? Yeah, no, Google's Google's being a fun guy. Are we on? We're on. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're on. Oh, did Sean pass away? Uh, I don't know. Same to Magnus. Well, we'll we'll, we'll get we'll get him back. Just being there he is. Just being European will get you dead for any number of reasons. <laughs> everybody's, like, video feed for me was frozen for a while. I'm like, dude, what the fucking shit? Like, come on. I know, and, and now we're all pixelated. We look like we're in a fucking Toho game. <laughs> uh, I didn't complete my thought about Jim Steranko. Okay? Yeah, yeah, please finish your thought about Jim Steranko. You, you have to, to, okay, you have to look into this guy's personal life. Like, normally I don't advocate this with comic creators because it's really more about the art, but Jim Steranko's art's amazing and it speaks for itself, right? This mm -hmm. guy, this guy eats one meal a day, and it's raw vegetables and 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 like fruit that he grows himself in his garden because he doesn't believe the government is is being 
forthright and the, what they put in the food or whatever. He he runs up a mountain, and he all every single day with his dogs, and he sleeps two hours a day. Th this guy should be dead. I don't under, I don't even understand how this guy is a person. Like this this guy sounds like a cartoon character. I'm blown the fuck away by this. I just want I want anvils and pianos to be dropped if this is going to happen. Like go back to Toontown. Oh man, now I really want to watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Now I want to go back to Toontown. <laughs> yeah, dude, Toontown's amazing. Except for I don't ever want to see a shoe put in that vat ever again because that was soul crushing. Soul crushing. This have you have you so been sad. to Euro Disney Sainted? Have you ever been to Toontown? Mm -hmm. Nope. No, he hasn't. Florida, though. You've been. Oh, okay. You've been to Florida. Florida's worse. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm so, I'm. I feel sorry that had to be your introduction to America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how he was first introduced by looking at the Wang of the United States. I saw Cape Canaveral. You saw Cape Canaveral. Good for you. Just, saying, having, I thought that like that. you went away and your flag was going to be all straightened out. Now. Now I feel bad. It's worse. And now, yeah, now it's somehow uh, uh, more crooked. It's the anti-flag, you know. Oh. Oh, 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 so you're doing that whole sex pistols thing. You're a fucking Watch rebel. Out. You, they'll you a rebel them. over there? See, now they'll you're not going to get knighted or anything? They'll can send some completely unarmed police officers to your home. For <laughs> some guys no, named no, Bobby. For a vigorous finger shaking. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Um, have you guys seen Sam Dunn's latest film, Global Metal and Metal Evolution? No, I haven't. I'm sure they're horrible. <laughs> uh, Metal Evolution is all right. What's that and one about? It's Unfortunately, it's him extrapolating on that terrible family tree that he made. Uh, you mean the one from uh, Headbanger's Journey? Yeah, the one Which where... Which didn't make any fucking sense at all. Yeah, yeah, you know, the one where Accept is Power Metal, you're... <laughs> it, it's based on that, but it's kind of cool because he has to go categorically through all the different genres, and so they they cover the the uh, sainted is running around with a Richard Simmons Google headband on over there. It's very distracting. He's our, it's our, it's our, it's our sponsor. Fucking, he, he needs he needs the big afro though. No, he's, <laughs> lots he of needs enthusiasm. To, yeah, in about five minutes, he's going to shave his legs and cry. Uh, <laughs> Only on David Letterman though. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I lost anyway, my no, he's extrapolating on the the genres and all that bullshit that he conjured. Right. No, he, he he has to cover everything. He he has to cover NWOPHM and all that. Sh it's really cool to like see a little more in depth analysis of new wave of British heavy metal because there's mm -hmm. so few like documentaries that are actually about that period mm -hmm. of metal. There's a ton about hair metal and a ton and about trash, metal, yeah. but like yeah. There's very little on NWOBHM, which is personally like one of my. It almost favorites. seems like those bands that don't want to talk about it whenever you bring it up. Like, what was going on in the '80s where you guys don't want to bring this up anymore? Yeah, they're like Vietnam survivors. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I live my penis in Da Nang. <laughs> like, Apparently, like going mentioned... on tour meant that they were actually like taking out refugees while on stage and shit, and they can't speak about it. <laughs> Like, this is from our Asian tour. <laughs> Get some! Back in the Village by Iron Maiden is making a lot more sense now. I don't know. I always thought that was the odd man out on Power Slave, but now it's coming into sharp focus for me. Run to the hills. I get it now. <laughs> All right, and uh, Fish, now, you did, that was uh, uh, Metal Evolution. Did you see Global Metal? Which one was that? I have not. I don't know what the heck Okay. That well, we'll I, think look. It's a, I think it's a documentary about, if I remember correctly, I was I was in the, the record store the other day and uh, going through, like, the music. Like, they, they cover, like, a dad metal band or something, a, a band in, like, Iraq or something. It's, like, oh, covering yeah, yeah, bands yeah. From, from crazy, like, places where it's illegal to, like, to have any Western music yeah. at all. It's things. illegal to be a woman, things like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Illegal to have a hymen. <laughs> Not intact or destroyed by your stepfather, yeah, or things yeah. like that. Illegal to have a clitoris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because never mind. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I mean, I, I've gone on record a number of times. I think Sam Dunn's a fucking wiener. 
but <laughs> I, don't know. I, mean, you know, I, I don't know who told this guy that he's a fucking expert. I really At wish... some point, dude, you need to record the official Sam Dunn as a wiener rant. I mean, you need to, you need to print shirts, dude. No, no, I'm going to fucking put out my own goddamn print of Metal a Headbanger's Journey with a Yell Chaos commentary. This guy's a fucking wiener. You see that guy? He doesn't know anything. Oh, look, Ronnie James Dio. This guy's a fucking wiener. Uh, no one's going to pay money for that, but the point is it'll be on the shelves at your local record store, if you know what that is. <laughs> if you have one of those. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, when's the last time you ran into somebody who doesn't go to, or who goes to a record store outside of Free Record Day? That's true. I, yeah, I've never actually been on Free Record Day. So That they... scares me. That scares me because I've seen how people get when there's like a free like sandwich involved. <laughs> I, you know, I've never missed Free Comic Day, and yet, I don't know. <laughs> well, free, free, uh, free Comic Day is a little Depending more. on the comics, Free Comic Book Day can get pretty fucking deadly, smelly, and deadly. It's I really don't know, Comic Book Day seems to me like it'd just be a whole bunch of heavy breathing. No, 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 Free Comic Day is where Fertilizer Ass was born, my friends. <laughs> oh, what is they call that? They call that ball soup? <laughs> no, dude, that's, that's fermented gooch film. In its oh. entire and it, yeah, that's right. Hey, I know it sounds nasty, but whenever you're fucking breathing it in and it's airborne, it's there, and it's it's making all the comics curl. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, well, I wanted the comic, but now it's like falling a apart. fucking school uh, here. We, at this point, we would like to mention that uh, Alpha Omega Sin is applying for the lead writership position at Healthy Living Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we just we we kind of experienced. What? Wait, we're experiencing what? things apparently. Yeah, what, we're... what are we experiencing? I don't know. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> He's just like, we're experiencing. <laughs> what are we experiencing? I don't know. <laughs> Tell us, Sainted Magnus, is the ex free exchange of ideas outlawed in Britain after a certain time, or what? Because I know it's I, late there. I, I, I don't know. I think it's just you, like, won't shut up for more than thirty seconds. Oh, that's not my breath. job, motherfucker. <laughs> If you want people to be quiet, you came to the wrong fucking podcast, my friend. <laughs> anyway, what were you know. saying before your microphone decided to go... No, I was just saying that we were we experienced uh, Alpha's newfound health, nutrition wisdom before when he was showing us his nice boxes of cereal. Oh, yeah, I know, that's true. Well, the fans didn't get to see that bit. Folks, for those of you who don't know, it's October. And this is the time to fill your bodies with the most disgusting crap you possibly can. And for more, we go to Alpha Omega Sin. Hey there, fuckers. Okay, so yes. you guys understand that around here, this is a big deal, because this shit only shows up in October. So it's awesome. And like I was explaining to everybody, Yo Chaos was like, well, that stuff's really bad for you. It's just sugar. And I don't give a fuck if it is. Because up here, it tells me some random numbers that don't sound that bad. And he still has two teeth left. So it's not that bad. And also, if it wasn't good for me, why does it say yummy mummy? That mummy thinks it's yummy, and so do I. Bam, there's commercial. Bitch, get paid. Where's the Where's the Frankenberries? Where's, where's, where's... And where's the booberry? I shit you not, man. That stuff is like, okay, the only thing that they had was yummy mummy and fruit brute. That was it. I what got the fuck is Fruit Brute? I don't know. It's something I didn't hear about, but I had to fucking stab a mom on the way out of Target to fucking get my hands on the cow chocula. It's, okay, so don't come into my house and be like, oh, man, I'm going to have some uh, Alpha Omega Sin cereal because I'll fucking kill you. Man. Oh. Yeah. Because I was thinking, I was like, maybe we should go over, to, go over to your house and have some cereal, but now, not now. No, I'll, I'll share. I'll share. But if somebody's just like, I'm going to take some, it's like, I don't know. No, you know. don't understand how things work. <laughs> it's like, I don't think you understand the law of the jungle. I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> Dude, but, I mean, legitimately, it's just, it's weird because, like, Cocoa Pebbles are, like, my favorite cereal. And I like Count Chocula a whole lot. I have to point down because it's on the floor now. <laughs> but, uh, Hold it up. It's just on the shelf. only time we can get it. That sucks. Well, Hold it, it could up. be worse. Put it on the shelf. <laughs> Dude, uh, Dude, first world problems. Yeah. <laughs> and Count Chocula, I don't think is just an annual thing because I've seen it in the store. Outside. I think that I, I think that might be a Western thing because we have it here all year long. That's yeah. the thing. Like around here, it's just October or bust. That's it. Everywhere else, it's like yeah, we can get it any time. It's like damn it, 
I need yeah, to go with my travel. We in the Western United States, we take our obesity. We take that shit seriously. Well, shit, and we're not. It's a challenge, is what it is. I'm sorry that Pittsburgh is half-assing it, but if you go no, to parts I mean, of dude, downtown... You, you, go out, you go out to a Walmart over here, I don't think anything under 500 pounds even trips the automatic door anymore. <laughs> 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 uh, we get Wait, Walmart, or are you talking about, are you talking about the Comic-Con? <laughs> <laughs> I, I get confused myself. Oh, wait, uh, Tyler... Wait. Kevin, somebody said Walmart. that they were expecting an irate gamer joke. There's already been one. Yep, this is true. We have we have checked that box, my friend. And yeah, we, we've we done like many of those, box. despite him wanting to be on our show. I was going to say, and even if you, like, you know, if we're not actually supplying you with an irate gamer joke, just go to his channel. That's funny in itself. Uh, <laughs> no shit, right? Uh, <laughs> not, not on the right reasons, though. Oh, yeah, it was like, you know. Uh, somebody asked. I, I I found this question interesting. It's a question for Alpha. Uh, what What do you think of the future of the Silent Hill series is going to bring? I wish I knew, because uh, at this point, <laughs> I just kind of want it to die. Do you think they're going with Kojima? Uh, I uh, I don't know because I swear to God, Konami like has a ball gag around that motherfucker, and it's like it's Metal Gear or nothing. Because that dude, I swear, he's probably like beating his head against the wall, wanting to make other shit, but can't because that's their fucking that's their cash cow. So now they have got multiple Metal Gear games. I think that's why uh, the new Metal Gear looks so different, and they're changing so much shit about the series. The shorter cutscenes, less cutscenes, more stealth, that kind of. I mean, it's basically turning into Splinter Cell. Well, it legitimately it needs to it needs to go back into being stealth. I like my fair share of story, but when I want to watch a movie, I go to the movies. Or I torrent it because I'm poor. And <laughs> um, the, the fact is that I just, I want to sneak around. I want to break necks. I want to hide bodies. I also don't want to deal with a bunch of lumbering robots every five fucking seconds because that, to me, isn't fun. If I want to do that, I'll just go play Steel Battalion or Dino <laughs> Gears or Zone of the Enders. Or any other number of games that has giant, that giant robots with big sexy Chun Li thighs. Is that <laughs> robots? There, ain't, there is there is no such thing as a Chinese girl that looks like that. By the way, <laughs> no, but uh, I, I don't know. I, it makes me kind of curious what the fuck he would actually do with that because I've never seen like Kojima tackle something with like you know a horror theme or anything like that. Uh, the closest thing I can even think of is, like, Snatcher and Police Knots, and that's not technically horror. It just was gritty and fucking dark, you know? But, I mean, uh, at this point, I just... It, unless they can get, like, the original team silent together, I just don't... I don't even want to fucking care anymore. What, I know that they, you, you like the newest one quite a bit. I, I did, but Sainted, he's the big Kojima guy. Dog. Saint, how do you feel? It it feels it feels to me that whenever a friend oh. all these starting to fail, they bring them to try. Dude, on I'm just saying that right now your microphone's cutting out really bad on my end. Yeah, I fucking hate this thing. Oh, it's the well. best you've ever sounded. No, I'm just fucking with <laughs> fucking with you. Dude, we told this motherfucker like. I mean, oh. we, we're chilling out. We're like, get a different microphone, and he's like, this is a legit gamer headset. Yeah, and this this, this, this like, shows no, total you, fiscal irresponsibility. Like, you put that shit in some cereal. <laughs> like, yeah, is the government shut down, down affecting Britain, too? <laughs> yeah. No, we, we need a complete hate bit shutdown. Well. He's dipping it in the water. Okay, try that now. <laughs> Are we having a hate bit shutdown? Is that what's going on? We're having a protest? <laughs> we're going to park our trucks and shit? Need to raise the hate bit debt ceiling. Mm. <laughs> well, right. look at look at we can't even afford new fucking mics. We gotta raise the goddamn debt here, ceiling. Here, saying it. Try again, and this time, don't sound like you're a fucking mime. Just go. <laughs> Good. <laughs> right. I'm glad that this shit is live, and we're not just recording it. So, like. Everybody can see this shit. Yeah, yeah. This is just... <laughs> here, you know what? Saying it here. Have a fucking bowling ball. Is that going to make you feel better? 
have a fucking bowling ball. Because this works better than your goddamn fucking gaming headset. I'm just saying. It works better, motherfucker. Is, is your headset powered by PlayStation Move? Because that doesn't work either. This right here is what the fuck I do the podcast with all the time. It's a fucking rock band, Mike. This cheap dildo fucking piece of shit is like three bucks. I know it don't cost shit in your hometown. Buy it. <laughs> we love you. Or at least you know. I do. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. Okay, we can it? now. I, I need to retire. <laughs> you need to retire? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, dude, you need to retire that weak ass headset and get some shit that's worth 15 bucks. Sainted. 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 Oh, hey, wait. You come, come raise a fist. <laughs> <laughs> it's a teenage love affair. You, you did see that, right? Right. If not, you you complete him. Which is always important. My <laughs> God. We we still love you, man. Hearts on. Hearts on. <laughs> I like you, okay, as a friend. <laughs> I don't say it. I like you as a lady. <laughs> Just so you know where we're at in our relationship. <laughs> oh, yeah, see? <laughs> Captive audience and all that. All right. Oh, we should be taking questions from the fucking... We should audience. be. We should be. We'll, we'll all be special guests on Home Improvement later. Um... <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, Does anybody know what time it is? A, few, a bunch of people asked what our thoughts are on the Metallica movie. It's like it's probably going to be as shitty as the last Metallica movie. We yeah. don't care. Games. We're a gaming podcast. Yeah, you yeah. don't make the fucking rules here, Limey. Be quiet and sit down. You don't even have a working microphone. <laughs> How did we hear that? Uh, that's a very uh, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> it was supposed to be like this. <laughs> like he's just His rage was bursting through. Uh, let me see here. They've, they've, asked, they've asked a few times about Hiroshi Yamauchi. What's that? They've, they've asked a, a few times about... Uh, oh, did they? Yeah, yeah, shame that, uh, shame that Mr. Yamauchi-san left us. Uh, the man that ruled Nintendo for 100,000 years with an iron fist. He was, <laughs> he was older than the universe by the time he passed, and also owned the Seattle Mariners. That's true. That's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. And also, apparently, Nintendo has no plans of selling the Seattle Mariners, therefore keeping baseball in Seattle. Which is awesome. A losing team, but a team nonetheless. Hey, I've, I've always liked the Mariners. They're my only... Oh, of course. Well, how could you dislike the Mariners? <laughs> I don't know anybody who likes the Mariners, per se, but you can say that, you know, you don't hate them. <laughs> it's kind of like your mother-in-law. You don't necessarily like her, but, you know, she's okay. Yeah, exactly. So no. my mother-in-law is the Seattle Mariners, and uh, and uh, Razor Fist mother-in-law is the Washington Nationals. <laughs> oh, what are you? I kid, I'm ribbing. Uh, how about the Pirates, though? You, you just Fucking said my mom. mother was originally French-Canadian. That's your what? problem. <laughs> but uh, how about them Pirates, though? Dude, you know what? A lot of people are pissed off, but I mean, they lost against a really good team, so it's not that bad. A oh, man, they, you know what? They lost in the, <clears throat> they lost two games ago when mm -hmm. they were they needed to win that game in Pittsburgh, and they lost instead. And they yeah, lost by, they lost by a stupid amount. They lost by like two runs, and it was yeah. like, oh, dude, it was it was fucking retarded. But the thing is, how I look at it is, I mean, we still got our fucking Pirates flag up in the living room right now. Oh, yeah. Had it up all year round. Still got it up now. Is Most that what you use to deter the Jehovah's Witnesses? Yeah. Uh, no, we just <laughs> use me, and that, that works out swimmingly. But, uh, nah, man, it, it, it kind of sucks because it's one of those teams, like, you know, it, they don't make it that often, so you just no. kind of want them to. Well, they're, and, and look, they lost to the Cardinals, who are like the Yankees of the National League. They probably have, like... 19 times the budget of the Pittsburgh Pirates, oh, yeah. and the Pittsburgh Pirates actually nearly whipped their ass. And it's like, okay, who's who's really the loser here? No shit, it's, right? It's the truth, but now, officially in Pittsburgh, it's hockey season. I don't give two fucks about football, so football can go fuck itself. Inside out, right side in. So yeah, back to back to hockey and back to the Penguins. Attaboy. Attaboy. Um, oh, we, we got we got more questions here. Where, oh, fuck, I lost it. God damn it. Everyone's typing too fast. 
Somebody said, uh, oh, fuck, Razor Fist, would you like to play a first-person Daredevil game? No. <laughs> it would probably be just a blank screen and a bunch of yeah, guessing. That's, well, that's what I'm thinking. It would be like the last three Microsoft operating systems. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, Razor Fist, don't you like the idea of looking down iron sights that aren't there? Yeah. I mean, isn't that going to get you? Know? Horns is iron? I don't know. I don't, I'm really just thinking out loud here. Down his, down his knuckles, do one of these, and try to look down them or some shit. Slow-mo, weird punching. The only thing I can think of is, like, Mirror's Edge, and even then, it's like, how about we don't fucking do that ever? And why don't we just stick with, I don't know, something good? Like, why don't we take, I, like... Take some shit like uh, from Assassin's Creed and have him run around like that, but much much faster pace. I'd be happy with that. There. That that's kind of what they were working on in 2004, and then it wound up being scrapped. And it's like, what the fuck? It had parkour and it had like a radar vision. The graphics were kind of crap, but it was PS2 era. You kind of expected that. Yeah. I, I don't know. It looked okay. If you, there's actually a trailer of gameplay and stuff online of it, but. They scrapped it for whatever reason. I assume because the movie didn't wasn't received that well. Because I know it was like a tie into the movie, kind of like with the Punisher in two thousand four, uh, or in two thousand five or whatever. Which the Punisher game, for the record, the THQ one is pretty fucking good. Dude, that game's fucking awesome as shit. Yeah, Wait, that's that's great. the one where you actually get to go around the stage and do like specific kills depending on where you're at. Exactly. Like, shoved their head into the piranha thing. Oh yeah. Dude, it's, that one was awesome as fuck. I, that's all I did the entire time was just run around. Sana just blipped out of existence, by the way, and you just started murdering the shit out of people. You know what happened? I think Sanid's internet died all because of his fucking headset. <laughs> it gave <laughs> up because he gave up on his headset. And Is that what it was? Yes. I'm like 1,000% certain. He got like electronic <laughs> cancer? Uh, more or less. It has to be. Oh. And it just spread through. Oh, wait, and then... um, he just said, hold on. He just, he just typed in, it says help. <laughs> oh my god, I just fucking noticed that. The headset strangled him. <laughs> sainted, sainted, you have to write it on the inside of your head. That's <laughs> like Alex. No, it was, it, was, it was the Google headband. There he is. Wait. Uh, He's back. Our British buddy. Welcome back, Sainted. Did your headset fix itself? That's going to be the running you, gag you of this laptop talking. mic, man. Just I think. I, it looks like your mouth might be moving, but at Is the he moment trying you're to talk to us via the Apple iPhone. <laughs> I have no idea. Is you, that what's going on? Here, wait, are, are you, are, wait, wait, John, are you are you trying to get the show on iTunes? It's not there. <laughs> and it never will be. You have to download the MP3. <laughs> you actually have to import it yourself. You poor thing. Are you sad? Oh. <laughs> Wait, you know sign language? That's amazing. Cause yeah, right now, sure. I see him ghosting at the moment. Wow, even, his, even, his, even his sign language has an accent. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Somebody said Sainted Magda is powered by PSN. Oh. <laughs> oh. That, that, that got a hearty chuckle out of me. Wait a minute. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. He's going to roll out PlayStation Home pretty soon here, and that'll save everything. Hey. Yeah, yeah, then he's going to sell everybody's information. If he's powered by PSN and if he starts giving away his personal information, then we'll be 100% certain. And then say, whoops, I'm sorry, here's a free game. All good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, just because I fucking love, I love my PlayStation doesn't mean I know that they're, fu they're, they're you know, fucking... You know, the stuff. saddest part of that entire fiasco is that some people probably would make a trade for a free game for their privacy. Oh, yeah. They're just like social security number, and you mean I get a twenty buck game sold? Bam! Someone keeps shit. saying Hulk Hogan's naked ass. Did anybody else see that that commercial? I did. I did. What, what about Hulk Hogan's naked ass? <laughs> it's naked and embarrassing. I know. I was just. I was just. Uh, someone exposed me to something called hostomania yesterday. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it's from. Is I that imagine, what it? I imagine this will end about as well as pasta mania. <laughs> Dude, Pasta Manium was fucking awesome. Or Hulkamania the he's album. Got, he's got the chef's hat on, and he's just like, Durham? And it's like, oh, fuck yeah, Hogan. Yeah, I, I don't know Hogan. about you, but when I think of Durham Wheat Semolina and Italian cooking, I think Hulk Hogan. I don't know. 
I think of, I think of hunger mania, and then I need to be fed a mania. <laughs> when I think pa- when I think pasta mania, I think of all the missed opportunities for commercials. Like you, you can have like the standard cliche old world Italian like Olive Garden commercial going on with the. Oh, hey, everybody's needlessly bombastic and loud. Oh, we're having a great time eating some food. And then Hulk Hogan just barges through the front door like, Hey, dude! Like, <laughs> and we got to have the Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik has to be off in the, com- in the corner, drunk as fuck, <laughs> off of a bunch of wine, like 19 bottles, and he's just like, Fuck him! <laughs> no, no, but he's like, he's like grabbing all the female help, like, I will make you humble! Sit on my pointy boot the right way. <laughs> that make me happy as well. <laughs> Jin Min. <laughs> Min Jin, you big oh, Zane, Welcome back. I can actually see you in complete color now. Now you're not just I like... Through the miracle player. of Technicolor. Except for you've been sitting in the same exact position with this weird smile, and I think your screen is frozen that way. It's actually threatening in a way, because it's just like this. Is he constipated, or... Oh, here, uh... uh, Someone said Beach Patrol. Fuck yeah! Well, I was walking down the street looking for some action, and then... Oh, God, I forgot the rest, but that part always sticks in my head. Dude, Thunder in Paradise. Oh. Thunder! (laughs) God, I love that show. As a kid, I seriously watched every single episode. You know what I've been on the lookout for the longest time is for the Thunder in Paradise CDI game, but I can't find it. Wait, that's a thing? It is a thing, and people say that I'm making it up. Like, no, it exists. It's out there. My favorite thing about Thunder in Paradise and the ultimate indicator that the people who made it had absolutely, gave absolutely zero shits about it is if you buy the seasons on DVD, uh-huh. all the episodes are out of order, and I think there's, like, three or four missing, like, on the DVD set. Like, well, I think the first three were, like, turned into a movie, and then they later cut them down, right? Yeah, something like that. But Does this work? That works. There he Holy is. Shit. We're just about to I'm go like, home and you show up now? Good for you. Well, the computer decided to be a shit, so I changed the, the tablet and the tablet I works. Know, this, is, this is like a conspiracy, man. If it's not the computer, it's Google. It's This is bullshit, man. I know. If you look closely, you can see him, his head move back and to the left. Oh. <laughs> this is sainted headroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, somebody quoted one of the best fucking things ever. I kick ass for the Lord! And honestly, they should have kept him alive a lot longer in that, because he was amazing. Made me sad. Uh, <laughs> somebody wants to know what our opinions are on Attack on Titan, and I have no idea what that is. I don't even know. I, I Wait a minute, Lord it. Canty has the Thunder in Paradise CDI game. Good for you, good sir. Send it to my house. Yeah, send it to Yell Chaos. He fucking deserves it for even knowing it exists. Yeah, I and, thought it was a bad book. And, and while you're at it, go ahead and send us the motorboat from fucking Thunder in Paradise with the <laughs> missile launchers and shit. Isn't it always amazing? You look and the boat is clearly only about like 14 feet long and then you get inside and they're like on the flight deck of the Starship Enterprise. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> Hold up, hold up. Like, I'm sorry. Like LCD screens and shit, and this is like 1992. Like, what the fuck is going on? I don't mean to interrupt, but it was just asked, Chuck Shoulder or Dave Mustaine, what the fuck are you smoking? Dave Mustaine should be uh, thrown into a trash compactor and suffer Dave, the same fate as the Shredder. Dave Mustaine shouldn't even exist within the same fucking stratosphere. Wait, wait, he should suffer the same fate as the Shredder? He should, what, get up and beat Kevin Nash all of a sudden? Or what yeah. The of course, like, I don't know. No, no, no. What happens is we drop him in the trash compactor, and then later we're going to drop wood on him, and then he'll die. Yeah, that made no fucking sense. Super Shredder, who definitely could have taken, like, a B-52 to the fucking nads, was bested by a peer. You're <laughs> fucking kidding me. Like, oh, well, well don't forget, look at his choices. He could have stayed outside with the peer resting on him, or he could have gone back in and listened to Vanilla Ice. You choose. Or That's he could have came in and killed everybody in there. He during- was tired! They just dropped a pier on him. Dude, Any he was, he, dude he's super yeah. shredder. He's not that tired. Oh, well, that's true. He had to use one of those fucking pier logs as a fucking toothpick. <laughs> or it's like his bow staff and be like Donatello and knock that fucker for a loop. So, so say to you feel about them allowing them to be referred to as Ninja Turtles in Britain now. They're not just hero turtles. Oh, anymore. are they Ninja Turtles now? Well, how, is, how is that going? Uh, he's gone quite well. Uh, they were referred to as, as the Ninja Turtles on the movies for us, but then yeah. when it was like the cartoon was like Hero Turtles, 
but at least we could tell which which was which. You know, we're talking yeah. about Ninja Turtles, talking about the movies, talking about the heroes, talking about the fucking cartoon, and the cartoon was awesome. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Point of order. Point of order. I would like to just make my feelings clear about this. We're not allowed to talk about UK game sales anymore because they don't even fucking know what things are called. No. <laughs> so if you can't, if you don't know what things are called, how are you going to sell them? <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're just saying, you're, I'm you're not just the saying one that you can't. What am I? You're just, I'm saying you're just saying that because of how badly Nintendo's doing in the UK. Well, of course. Well, <laughs> <laughs> at least the man's honest. Well, you, think, you think you think I would have heard about it any other time? <laughs> <laughs> I just barely found out about everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I just stopped churning butter yesterday. I know, man. Then I was never mind. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's see here. What, what X3? Anyway, we got a little more time here before Sainted Magnus turns into a pumpkin. Boys and girls, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Sainted Magnus does have to work, and it is, what, 3 a.m., or getting on to 3 a.m. in the United Kingdom? Yeah. Right about that. Well, it's about... It's past that. It's about half past three nearly. Is it half past three? Yeah, so we're we're keeping Sainted Magnus up really late, and uh, so we'll hang around for... Just a... going for another hour to keep him up a bit longer. <laughs> No, we got, we got off to a slow start, and we apologize to everybody. And we'll be back to do this again, I assure you, because this do does kick off season four. Huh? <laughs> we'll do it properly. We'll do it properly. We'll do this again sometime. We do apologize. So, uh, But anyway, we'll get a few more questions in, and then we're going to have to get out of here so Sainted Magnus can go bye-bye, otherwise he's going to die for real. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Lord Canty wants to know what we think about Reboot getting uh, well rebooted, essentially. Did anybody else hear about that? Fantastic news. I mm -hmm. heard about it. Nobody um, else heard about this? They're continuing to reboot? I heard about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and? Uh, I don't know. It depends because, uh, I mean, I really like the series a bunch. I got all the episodes on my computer and thought uh -huh. it was sweet. I just hope that they don't try to be too serious with it and try to make, make it, it all dark and shit. So, they probably will, though. Well, that's the well, thing. It's like, I thought it was a middle-of-the-road series when it was on in its first run. So I don't see what was the need to really... Who said, hey, this is a great way to sell toys? It is a great way to Huh? It is a great way to sell toys. It keeps me in the job. <laughs> that's true, but, you know, what you do is your own business. Yes. I don't know. I just I, I don't really have any thoughts about it because, you know, I mean, if they do something with it, cool, but... It's probably going to be like every other fucking reboot of cartoon series that's been in the last few. They'll do about three episodes. They're not getting the numbers they want, and they'll fucking shelve it. Yeah. yeah the well, the thing is, reboot's got such a cult following, so most likely, you know, people of our generation will watch it. Well, you yes, know? but the problem is when major companies figure out that there's a cult following or something, they translate that as massive sales, unaware that cult means small. Yeah, unfortunately. You know? And, and there's going to be this misunderstanding. It's not going to make a bunch of money, and then a lot of people are going to be out of work again. Mm. Oh, well. Not saying they can't. I'm just saying, you know, it's like, why? I mean, they're, they're, they're shoving out a new fucking Pac-Man cartoon. They could just do a reboot movie. That, you know, just to finish off the story, because it kind of ended a bit, bit abruptly at the end of the series. You actually remember the way the series ended? I don't know. Yeah. Well, Bob got sucked into this vortex, and then there was like this little kid that picked up Glitch, which was like basically like a power glove that could do anything. It's um, weird about it. those. Well, continue. Sorry, I, I don't mean. To... That was it, you know? Oh yeah. No, you that's know, how the end is. Very abrupt. Yeah. No, I, the thing that's weird about those shows for me, like shows like Beast Wars and, like, reboot and, like, 90s, like, CGI kind of shows is, like, they're so bad, like, the, the animation and the, the detail and everything is so bad that it almost becomes, like, its own genre and, like, no longer has to look good and kind of holds up in that. Yeah, I mean? like, it, it, it finds its charm in its being subpar. Exactly, it's kind of yeah. weird. Like, it's like it actually holds up, whereas, like, if you try and watch, for example, Babylon 5... Uh, the effects on that show don't hold up so much. Well, I think you could say it's like probably like watching the Simpsons shorts from the Tracy Ullman show. It looks like somebody just flipping fucking pages in a book. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's I, just so crude that there's something about it. Is that what you're saying? 
Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, and I, I can go along with that. Yeah, because you know, like, I wonder why they don't make movies like this anymore. Why do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just similarly, like, well, how they say like classic rock is now a genre. It's like it used to be just rock, but I guess since they don't make music about smoking doobies anymore, it's a genre. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, they do, but it's called the Cottonmouth Kings. I'm not crazy about the idea of reboot being rebooted. Uh, <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. I, I thought that the show was like one of those shows when I was a kid that it, like, okay, if it was on, I'd catch it. But it wasn't like I was counting down the minutes till it came back. Like I was, like, I watched it because it came on after X Men. Okay, let's be. Yeah, and you didn't, and it was on, it was on after X Men and before Soul Train, right? <laughs> Before, before the you know food processor <laughs> Jack Lalanne's juicer. Oh, <laughs> we're talking about a lot of dead people today. <laughs> well, you know, uh, Randy Savage. Yeah, <laughs> Randy Savage, Jack Lalanne, Sainted's Mike. Now, you're, you're the Nintendo guy. I hope you didn't talk about this before I got here. What's but that? Hell Chaos, people keep asking about the new Pokemon. How? Uh, well, Bill uh, talked about it a little bit. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, I, I figured you were the Nintendo guy. You would have more of an opinion. Uh, you know, Pokemon, I'll get around to it. You know, I mean, that's, that's, as I'm getting older, I just don't... The hype train doesn't grab me. and It's just like, yeah, it'll... You know, if I get it... I mean, is love. What advantage do I have by getting it the day it comes out? I get to pay an extra ten dollars more than I would a few months from now. You'll find it in a swap meet for ten dollars. Probably. True. And then I'll get it, and then someone will ask me to do a trade on YouTube, and I'll say, "Ha, ah, fuck you." Because <laughs> <laughs> they only want to trade for the good shit. Fuck each and every one of you that tries that shit. <laughs> I know Alpha Omega Sin must get that stuff all the time. It's like, I'll trade you my copy of Othello on the NES for your 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 lollipop chainsaw standy. I'd be like, oh my god, sold. <laughs> Just take it. I don't need this anymore. Fuck it. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. If anybody wants my copy of Snatcher, I am really looking for Madden 97 on PlayStation 1. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Best deal ever. Yeah, don't you, don't you just love that? Hey, could I could I have Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver? I've you know I've got a copy of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest here. <laughs> Fuck you. So does every stupid Nintendo I'll collector. I'll send I'll send a cupcake along with it. No, the the as far as me, the game that I'm most excited for and haven't got to yet is uh, the Wonderful 101. If we're gonna talk about oh. Nintendo games, I have sure. been wanting to play that quite a bit. And yeah. Razor Fist. Had imploded. It will eventually explode and reappear again like a magician. But, uh, <laughs> dude, Wonderful 101 looks absolutely fucking impressive and then some. Did you like, play the I demo yet? I haven't gone around to it, no. Oh, yeah, no, I got the demo. I adore this game. And I'm really tempted to move the Wii U downstairs to where we have the plasma TV just to see it. Also, boom, there he is. <laughs> see, I told you. Oh. Accidentally oh, clicked out of it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, well, it looks like Sainted Magnus is fading, so we're going to have to get a couple more questions yeah. in, and then we're going to have to get out of here, guys. We thank you for joining us on Pissing in the Live yeah, Stream. One of you guys be, like, why don't you one of you guys ask Sainted a question? Yeah, ask Sainted a question. Yeah. Christ, ask so. Sainted questions because he's dying. <laughs> we need to keep him awake, and we can't send him coffee via YouTube. I mean, his headset's so broke, he needs questions to repair it. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but it does. Make sense of it, folks. Come on, hurry. I right. saw the word penis. They type that really big for a reason. Ah, you're slick. So, big yeah. penis. Yeah, a big yeah. penis. <laughs> like, yes. Katie Couric's joke. big penis. That joke guy in well, high school. Keep in mind, we're on quite a delay here. So, they gotta... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, also, I remember a while ago somebody had talked about uh, China's big ham fist of a clitoris, and that made me laugh because it literally is just like taking Miss Piggy, putting her in a headlock, and keeping her downstairs right above I don't know. Her to me, it just looks like she's perpetually birthing Rosemary's baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I've seen the Joni Lara nude pictures. Uh, I, I've seen the nude pictures and the tag team porn, which I just got a good chuckle out of because it just looked like prison. So. 
<laughs> you think they yeah, they probably have to put her in a men's facility? Um, it, it was if you want to call facility. Sean Waltman a man. Oh <laughs> no, no, he definitely isn't. He he looks like something that went through a strainer. It's really terrible. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of people are just like, you mean the one, two, three kid? <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, that guy. Okay, here we go. Sainted, <laughs> what is Sainted? What is your most valued video game in your collection? Sainted, okay. when will you buy a new headset? <laughs> Sainted, when will you fix your flag? Uh, it, it depends on what they define by valuable. Whether it's uh, value. Valuable in value or valuable in sentimental? First, so. personal value, I have a feeling, is what they're saying. Yeah, personal value. I'd have to see my copy of Gran Turismo 2 on the PlayStation. Just right. ask the game that gave me a lot more enjoyment out of the Gran Turismo series. Right on. Did you go the full nine yards? You had the wheel and everything? You were rocking it? Uh, no, I've never actually owned a wheel. I've, I've always stuck with the joypad, because I think this is all I need. I don't need to go out spending nearly 200, 200 pounds on getting a seat and a fucking steering wheel. So you're a better man than I. I. If I play, you know, flying games or whatever, I always have to have the joystick or, you know, whatever. I have to pretend it's a simulator, you know what I mean? But, I don't know. I, I never did buy one of those wheels either because it just struck me as a massive cash-in. Yeah. Well, I mean, just, yeah, just this major investment in a game you're probably going to play for 45 minutes. Yeah, true. Uh, I think the most, I think the game with the most value I've got at the moment is probably the Sonic Generations Collector's Edition. Oh yeah, I was gonna say like that thing that was only over in your neck of the woods, so that thing actually yeah. like is wanted worldwide because we didn't get that shit here. I know, and if you got an intact uh, download code as well, sky's the limit to it. I was going to say, the only downside to that is that download code is going to be good for, like, maybe a couple more years, and then all of a sudden it's like, I got a paper with some numbers and letters. Doesn't do hey. uh, <laughs> Any questions? No. Yeah, Dragon Chi 26 says, Sainted, is your headset from the Jurassic or Triassic period? <laughs> oh, it's early Cretaceous. <laughs> <laughs> the Cretaceous? Okay, good, good. Uh, if anybody see. wants to donate a half decent functioning headset to Sainted, uh, okay. is we need to get like a sponsorship from Turtle Island, Island or something. You know, we should actually probably talk about this with the PS4 about to launch. Not that you could tell based on how people are acting. No shit, right? But uh, what, there's what a game guys, system coming out. What do you guys think about the UK retailer Simply Games like basically ransoming customers' uh, PS4 orders, uh, their pre-order, saying they're actually going to have to pay extra? If they want, uh, if they, I didn't hear anything about this. What the fuck? Yeah, I saw a little. So, UK Trading Standards have got hold of Simpler Games and says, "Look, you're, you're fucking over customers here. Stop it. Just, yeah. just fucking stop it." Uh, what they were doing, they're hiking the price. The price. people had already put the pre-order price down of like twenty pounds, and then they were saying, "Right, you need to pay maybe three to four hundred pounds." Just to get a system that's worth three hundred and fifty pounds. So, Dude, I didn't change. even fucking hear about that until right now. That's a yeah. How, do... like, how the fuck is that even legal? I know. Yeah. So I would actually pull the article, but someone uh, call the queen. Call. The... <laughs> yeah, have her come in and just start busting fucking heads with a scepter. Just. She would. She would. Dude, that's that's fucking horseshit. And that the thing is, like over here, like legitimately, I didn't hear about that until just now. That I mean, they're that that really has to be illegal. I don't even see how the fuck that they could try getting away with it. It is totally illegal. You you can't do that, especially in the UK, especially with our trading standards. Yeah, exactly. That's that's why it blew me away hearing about this because it was like, wait, like as 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 many checks and balances as we have on our businesses, which is probably not nearly enough. Uh, there's there's a lot more in the UK, and it's like very micromanaged by the government. So I was I was kind of shocked to even hear that that had been allowed to happen. Although you said they had kind of stepped in and uh, and curtailed it, or whatever. Yeah, it, it's all them stop basically, and uh, they have done. Yeah, but uh, yeah, least... and hmm? this is where I'm supposed to be a troll and say they deserved it for pre-ordering the PS4, but actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to be a troll and say they deserved it for pre-ordering any game console on day yeah, one. Yeah, this is the stupidest it's... thing you could possibly freaking do. Absolutely. <laughs> That's just me. Well, I'm inclined to agree with you. I mean, there's just so many people. I will not believe the shit people will go through just to pay for something. To pay for well, something that you're not even clear on why you want well, it. Look, I, I said it on Twitter. I've I've given little mini rants. You say here everything on Twitter. I, I've given I've given little mini rants here and there. But the fact is, when you pre-order something, you are paying for a promise that nobody is legally compelled to keep. No, no I, I did read when you read that or when you said that. Yes, that's very true. And it's just. What, is there Morse code going on now? Uh, yeah. Sanit is currently trying to get into contact with extraterrestrials. Sorry, folks. <laughs> okay, get your keyboard. Beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Yeah, oh, hey, John, beep. <laughs> Johnny Five Alive over at Sanit's house. <laughs> Very cool stuff. But anyway, yeah, I mean, if you guys didn't notice, there are two fucking consoles coming out. Not so much that you'd notice because there's a whole bunch of, oh, yes, it is, and no, it isn't. It's oh, no. absolutely. I mean, fanboys going, oh yeah, this thing's box is going to shit on it. Oh, I've got a system that does exactly the same as what your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One will do. Are you kidding? Like, did you see that reveal, guys? I mean, seriously, I've never seen anything so anticlimactic in my entire life. I mean, there was build and hype and, and shit for for years. We've been hearing about this Steam box, how it's going to change gaming, and you, you look at the controller, and you look at the stuff they're showing, and you're just like, what? It's like... It, I, I described it on Facebook. It's like it's like Luciano Pavarotti getting on stage and drinking the glass of water and so, you know flattening his cravat and straightening his jacket and he gets ready and he lifts the arm and he opens his mouth and there's like a squeaky whoopee cushion fart noise that comes out. <laughs> That's exactly what the Steam Box reveal was like for me. They could like actually show what these Steam boxes will look like though. I'd be interested to see what they look like. But if it's anything like PlayStation 4... I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it'll be rectangular in shape and, uh, <laughs> and black in, in pigment, but I could be wrong. Yeah. It could be. It, it just, it's just amazing. It's like, that's what the reveals are now. Look at the controller. <laughs> now be confounded for several weeks while we figure out what the hell we just showed you. <laughs> All the way down the fucking line. Every single one of them. Look at the... No, isn't it great? No, it's not great? Oh, fuck, they don't think it's great. Um, More news soon. Because I went to look at what the Steam OS is, and that's all the fucking website says. Look at the fucking controller, and we'll get back to you. But, I mean, but if you, you guys agree, like, looking... I'm oh, sorry, Santa, did I cut you off? Uh, no, you... I was just going to say, it's like, the, the pinnacle of console design now is... Uh, I forgot a ruler anywhere. Yeah, let's draw a ruler. Right, what colour should we paint it? Black. Right, that seems to be pretty much everything. And it's like they forgot to design the Wii, the Wii U. They just thought, right, we'll just round it off a bit. There we go. We look, it looks like a squashed marshmallow on, on the uh, disc stand. Oh, everybody's well, going to focus. you know, you, you understand it's, why, right? It's just simple. They're, they're, all, all of them, they're not supposed to be... They're supposed to look like fucking stereo equipment now for some yeah, reason. exactly. Because some, now they're home theater equipment. And that's the thing, is I noticed that everyone is going after this room that's not really occupied by people anymore. It's like yeah. when... It's like how they keep building houses out in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> like... But but you need people to live in. There's no people in the desert. Exactly. Exactly. No, I completely yeah, agree. Wait, hold on one sec. Just so you know, uh, we're console fags, and we just don't understand it. Typical. Here. Fuck your here's mother. A message, here's a message directly to you, you fucking waste of shit. I'm a fucking computer <laughs> that I can pound your fucking mom's snizz in completely and concave it. Absolutely fucking barren. I understand right. it just fine. It's a fucking retarded ass fucking controller. Give me a fucking keyboard. Give me a fucking mouse. Give me a regular ass fucking controller. I'm just fucking fine. You don't need to reinvent the wheel when the wheel rolls just fine. Now suck well, my fucking dick and enjoy well, it. Well, well, granted, don't forget. I mean, you know, it might be a great controller. The problem is they didn't tell anybody anything. They just showed you a picture yeah. and then walked away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but today, today they actually released a video of somebody playing like Portal and. <laughs> Using this controller as you would, uh, I don't know, a keyboard and mouse. But once again, you know, I'm not, 
I'm not hearing, like, look, I went on, uh, I, like, I, I watched CNN the day after the Xbox reveal, the day after the PS4 reveal, and they talked about it for a little while, but then it, they kind of moved on. Do, does anybody here, like, I know we're all old enough to remember, like, 2005 when the newer consoles were going to come out for the 6th gen, mm-hmm. like... You, you guys remember, or for the seventh gen rather, and, and you guys remember like there was a lot of hype around them in mainstream media, especially around the Wii. The Wii, especially and, like that was yeah. a big deal, and there was a lot of people talking about. It. I'm not getting that from this generation. I'm go. I'm watching the news. They're not talking about any of this shit. They don't well, care. It, it's like the Super Nintendo. You know, people. You know, you you guys will know this more than I will, but. Parents had already bought their kids the Christmas before the NES, and then the Super Nintendo comes out, and the kids want the Super Nintendo, but then the, the parents are going to be like, well, hang on, you've already got a Nintendo. I yeah. feel that that's pretty much describes what it is at the moment, because the PlayStation 4, uh, the Xbox One, you're going to get Call of Duty Ghosts, you're going to get Assassin's Creed 4, you're going to get Destiny, you're going to get... Battlefield 4, and they're all going to be on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Why would you spend the extra £15 or whatever how much it is in dollars to get these games just to have a few extra pixels on a polygon? Or no, completely. An extra, an extra couple of lines of definition. And it, it really shows how confident they are in the new platforms, too, that everything really is going multi-platform. I mean, originally... There were rumors Watch Dogs might be exclusive. That wound up not being true. It's it's cross-platform. Thief went the same way. You know, you're yeah. seeing it with a lot of games that are, oh, it's going to be next-gen exclusive, and then it just the bottom falls out of that. No, we've got to make money. It's got to be on PS3. It's got to be on Xbox 360. But, like, I'm, I'm just... I'm not getting it. I really don't think this is going to end well for anyone. I mean, I think I think these consoles are eventually going to find their audiences. Of course they will. Gonna it's just not going to be anytime soon. Yeah, I think it's going to take a long time. I think it's going to take at least a year and a half to two years to finally get to the point where these consoles are like, okay, we're established. You well, know? it's funny you say that, because Alpha Omega Sin said that he's not ready, you know, and a couple of more years seems more reasonable. Yeah. I'm, still, it, it, dude, I'm playing catch-up like a lot of people are, and that's really the truth. We get a shitload of releases every single month, and a lot of them are very tempting releases, whether you have the money or not, you know, you'll have your fucking bucket list of shit that you want to catch up with. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you know, I want to jump in just like anybody else, because, you know, Brand new shiny hardware and stuff. That's that's tantalizing. But you have to think about the mass consumer. You know, reaching out to the people that don't pay attention to the news every day, to the people that won't be sitting here uh, listening to a fucking podcast. You know, th- those are the people that you're trying to impress to get the word out for you as well. But they're not doing that. Well, here's as- an example though. It's like Grand Theft Auto Five came out literally a month ago. And this game looks absolutely fantastic. Would this game look any different on, say, the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox? Well, no, I don't think so. Yeah. No, no, the no. game looks fantastic. It plays fantastic. What is it going to look like? If I do that. It's like Grand Turismo 6 is on its way out. Uh, that comes out the week after the PlayStation 4 does in the UK. That's been released on PlayStation 3. Destiny... Uh, Beyond Two Souls, that's just come out on PlayStation 3. Yep. And the current gen, as of now, and they, they look fantastic. I know it's a David Cage game, so we'll, we'll sh- we've already shot on him, but... It's just, I, I think it's also a combination of, I think next-gen consoles are going to suffer from what's happening to current-gen consoles with just fewer titles being released in general. Like, for example, and I just had this laying around, uh, this is actually, like, you remember when you would walk into GameStop and they would have the book, the binder open, right, in the front of the cash register, and it just has new releases? Mm-hmm. And I remember, in like, 07 or 08 or even 09, like, heck, even 2010, this thing, like, it'd be like a tome, you know what I mean? It's like 12 or 15 pages. It'd be thick. This... This is the current. This is this is what is going to be released in the future. This is GameStop's list. How, how far does that go out? It's one page. No, no, no. How long? Uh, oh, oh date-wise. It's, it's anything that's been announced that's going to be uh, that officially has a street release date, basically. Shoot. 
So this this goes as far as uh, October of 2014. I'm seeing on here. Oh, so, no, good grief! There's even, from, there's even one from January of 2015 on here. Dude. So this goes a, a ways out, and this is one page. One page. Here, here, but here's one of the things that we also got to pay attention to is the fact that compare. I don't know, 2000, I know I'm going to stretch back, but compare going into 2000, which was about the start of the PS2, Xbox, GameCube era, all the way up until currently, compare how much it cost uh, just a regular fucking uh, developer to make a game to how much it costs right now. It costs fucking oodles of money, and even if you want to make a fucking small indie-type game, it, it's you can't even fucking like do it off off of just like little shits amount of money, you know. Most people think, oh yeah, they can do it for real cheap. You have no idea. Like the shit fucking costs a nice chunk of change, and it well, sucks. Well, Alpha Magazine, don't forget you're leaving out something. Number one, licensing fees have not gone down in that in that same span of time. The equipment to work with the prices have not gone down, and yeah. you're also not factoring in bloated fucking corporate salaries and all yeah. these fucking developers who have people who supposedly run the fucking show. So that's that's something that always gets left out of these arguments. I mean, no, it, it's absolutely true. The, I mean, the the main point is just like, in, in general, for any kind of developer to get anywhere, they need to have a publisher above them that they can go and impress the living fuck out of. The publisher is then going to tell them exactly what to do with their idea. You know, not let them run with the idea, but tell them what to do with their idea, and then they're going to tell them, you know, here's how much little scribbly cash that you can work with. But then you have, like, a company that's big as Capcom, which we had talked about earlier, with only $152 million in the bank, and they can't even afford to fucking, like, throw it away at a... It could do well, or it could even out. They can't afford to do that anymore. A no, 152 that fucking... is that. That's about what a modern AAA game costs these days, if not more. You know what I mean? Like, who knows if they can even afford to fund another game? You know what I mean? I mean, I mean they're going to actually have to raise venture capital to get, <laughs> get like a game going. Like, this is ridiculous. It's going to be a Capstarter. See, that's <laughs> that's where we're at, man. I mean, it, you know, uh, on, okay, Razor Fist on his channel had talked about, you know, the, the fucking, not like the AAA guys, but the ones right below that. The, the fucking the second market. tier of guys, where they're having trouble getting their shit out there. While they're very good games, but guess what? They still need to have, like, they still need the marketing. They still need the finances. They still need to have that out there. And you're competing against a mobile market, a handheld market, a console market, a PC market, and you're competing against every other form of entertainment that's out there. And it's just, it, it's fucking mind-boggling. No, they're, they're competing against it, and they're, comp they're, they're f languishing in these, because budgets have gotten so huge for everyone. Not And it's not just for AAA games. It's for freaking middle market because now, and and this is partially where the media is to blame. You, if they could spend a middle market budget to make this game, right? If they wanted to, if they could absolutely do it. But what happens when companies do that is that games come out and then the media just lights into them for not looking good, and they wind up getting you know two out of ten on IGN, and nobody winds up buying the game, and it's like. If, if the media would just back off and actually rate these games by a criteria that's actually somewhat commensurate with the amount of money that went into making them, we might actually have a middle market again. So that's that's the, where I see the problem is stemming from, or at least partially. I think there's more to it than that, but I, I think that's at least part of it. No, that's that's definitely part of it. I mean, it's such a. Big I mean, you saw Dark. I'm playing Dark right now, right? For the 36, the, the vampire stealth game that came how, out. How is that, by the way? Because I keep. It's seeing not that. half bad. Like it's a middle market game, and like I I'm reading reviews for this game, and you would think this thing like crucified Christ, you would think like it was just the most heinous thing that had ever been pressed to a disc, the biggest disappointment since Duke Nukem Forever. Like it, it, You'd think it was on that par, but it's really not. It's just kind of a by-the-numbers stealth game. It's got some interesting ideas. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. Like, what the fuck was that? Uh, Saint had, had Skype sounds and then exploded. <laughs> Microsoft and the NSA came for him. Yeah, again. Uh, Again, they, they were they were letting him play with us, and then they were like, "Nope, nope, back down." <laughs> ah, uh, but um, God, I thought we were gonna have some good news this week. <laughs> <laughs> 
But anyway, um, the good news is that the Hate Bit podcast is back, motherfuckers. Well, that, yeah. that is the good news. But also, th- this is something that I hope we can kind of pine over for the next, you know, next few weeks, next few months. Is let's face it, holiday 2013. If you really break it down by who the major players are in the gaming industry, you have Microsoft, who for some reason thinks they got this thing in the fucking bag. They won't tell you why, but you should buy it. Yeah. And then PlayStation 4, we've got lots of games. Most of them can be played on your phone, but we've got plenty of those. And yeah. then Nintendo, they're doing whatever they want. And then well, there's the... Thing. PS4 and Xbox One have both announced a lot of games. But mm-hmm. it's like, I'm not sensing the urgency from the consumer base to pick sure. things up. I, I, I'm just not sensing it. I mean, look, it, like even if you're pre-ordering a PS4, I think you'd be hard-pressed to be looking forward to a game that is not on PS3 or Xbox 360. Right? You know what I mean? Like, I, okay, like, I'm gonna have to play Thief if for no other reason than to freaking review it, right? But, like, I, am I gonna buy a PS4 just to play it? It's gonna be on 360. You know what I mean? What, what the fuck? Why would I bother? I, I don't exactly, know. and and I cannot tell you, because, you know, I got, ever since I got a smartphone, I come across this uh, widget or app or thing called uh, Flipboard. And I'm flipping through, and I cannot tell you how many times I've come across articles of different, separate studies that show that consumers, the general consumers, the people who actually fucking pay for this, because the hardcore gamers and the people on YouTube and the internet forget that you are part of a very small margin, and that's why no one listens to you, number one. But uh, a lot of the mainline consumers either haven't heard of these machines or just don't care. Just, yeah, absolutely. And it's not a matter of even it's not a matter of even competition at that point. It's just a matter of what people playing games on your TV. Do people still do that? You know, it. it, it I goes think kind of lost sight of one of the most basic things of, of of launching a console, right? What do you need? You need the killer app. Yeah, you or need well, the one thing. Yeah, why do you have a machine? Because you have a new idea that cannot be purported through your existing machine. Yeah, that's not we, the case here. The Nintendo Wii kind of changed the game by okay, the killer app was playing tennis with your grandma. Yeah, <laughs> but like, hey, make I, it, making a visit with your grandma tolerable is just is something beyond money. <laughs> the PS3 was it was absolutely Metal Gear Solid 4 for the PS3, and it was and, a Blu-ray player, and for <laughs> and for the Xbox 360, it was absolutely Halo 3. Right? Those were the those were the games that moved those consoles because people knew if nothing else, that was coming out for it. Where's that game for PS4? Where is that game for Xbox One? I'm not seeing it. Okay, well, it's we're not going to see it, folks. Well, we're not going to see it inside the launch window. You know, okay. I mean, because you know as well as anybody, it takes time to learn to work with these things. No, we knew that Metal Gear Solid 4 was coming out when the PS3 was launched. You know, we knew that Halo 3 was coming out. It only took about two years after that. You know what sure. I mean? Like, it's you have to at least know that these games are in the offing. But mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Destiny is not moving consoles. In no, this. Titanfall is not moving consoles. <laughs> it's not going to be... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It's a first-person shooter, but it has mechs in it. No one ever thought of that before. Yeah, and, and it's funny because you see people who are just like, I have to have a PS4 for Watch Dogs. And, and there's a lot of these people, and you're just like, all right, just flush your money down a toilet. Okay, you yeah, just... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what, is the, what is the friggin' point? You know, like, man, were there a lot of people just standing in line to get the capacitive electric discs, too? <laughs> you gotta go way back to get that one. Uh, go, that gra- was... go grab your laser disc player. <laughs> your laser disc, and, you know, with your turbo graphics. Oh, wait, never mind. I've already got a Blu ray. But uh, something I was thinking about with the consoles and what's. Because don't forget, it's not just, you know, the big three going against each other. We have the Ouya, who's slowly becoming a player. I don't know how that's going on. Eventually, someone on that team will figure out what a fucking video game is, and then they'll be able to really, you know, throw down. Um, And then I guess Google's still working on a micro console. So the micro consoles are out there, and they're going up against the tablets, because regardless of how you feel about it, the the mobile market is there. I'm not, you know, it's not going to smash, you know, uh, gaming, because if it was going to, it would have by now. But I don't know. This is this is once again a reason why I think it's a crash that we're in right now, and I think this is only going to exacerbate it as the fact that it, it, what you're describing right now is market saturation. Absolutely. And there's, I mean, 
this is it, of all the times for Valve to jump on the bandwagon. This is not the time. No, no. I mean, unless they unless they have a long term plan, this is not the way to go about it. Yeah, the market can barely support the three consoles that are on the market right now. You know what I mean? Right. And you're going to add four more. You know what I mean? This Absolutely. And it's it's. It's a strange state of affairs. Like, uh, in fact, uh, Saint and Magnus and myself were having a conversation earlier this week. Um, I forget we were going back and forth on something, and I said this holiday and this first part of the you know new generation swing is not going to be about how much money to be made. It's going to be about how much support you can afford to lose and still remain in business. Yeah. Because the market is shrinking. There's no doubt about that, and it's going to continue to shrink. So what you need to do is kiss everybody's ass you possibly can and convince them to stay with you. Because there's not going to be, at least in my mind, and I don't know everything, but not in the foreseeable future is there going to be any major growth in this industry. I, I see like there being a minor bump when new consoles are, sure. uh, are released, but I really I think what's going to happen is it's kind of going to be the name of the game because when you really think about it, video game journalists have a stake in things being depicted as if they have the matter in hand as well. I think what's going to happen is these consoles are going to go up, you know, they're, they're going to be released to, in a blaze of obscurity. They're, they're going to do reasonably well. I think they're going to do, like, GameCube well. And then I think the, the media is just going to refuse to talk about how bad it really is compared to the last console. Generation. Yeah, well, because for the last year they've had the Wii U as the whipping boy, and now yeah. they're going to have three whipping boys, if, if not more so. And, you know, it, it's, there's going to be a whole bunch of machines sitting on shelves well, and that's over the next year. I had to talk about that with you, actually. Sorry, we do need to wrap it up uh, soon. We do, we do. we got we to gotta get well, out of here, big, gang. One of the big Nintendo-related stories that I wanted to touch base with you was uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist on the Wii U. Are you talking was, about the one that doesn't depict Iran as a desert? Which is which is awesome, by the way. And also um, the one where you admitted that you watched Seventh Heaven. <laughs> exactly. But no, like Splinter Cell Blacklist uh, for the Wii U. There was this story that came out like this past week that uh, less than two percent of the copies of Blacklist were sold on the Wii U. And actually, the full story is that the game sold less than a million copies across all platforms. Mm -hmm. It's a huge sales bomb, and Ubisoft lost a ton of money on Splinter Cell Blacklist. Mm -hmm. But instead of covering the fact that Splinter Cell Blacklist bombed, they jump on Nintendo saying, oh, they sold less than 300,000 units on the Wii U. Nobody's buying it. They blame the Wii U for Splinter Cell Blacklist doing badly. And it's like, it's available on 360, guys. It's available on PS3. How can yeah, you blame... Because it's an easier cop-out than saying, hey, you know, we made a game, and it didn't perform. And it's all oh. Nintendo's fault. But that's the thing. It's like the narrative now is Nintendo's fucked up and needs to go away. So they're yeah, just they... jumping on them, and they, they turn any story, even if the bigger story is much, much more grand and interesting... They'll, they'll turn it into a negative against Nintendo. Wait, hold up. So then, all of a sudden, a wild sainted Magnus appears as a <laughs> in, in, in tall Nintendo. shot view. And it, yeah, uh, uh, dude. So you're on your phone, I'm assuming. Do we have this technology? I was unaware of this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, well, yeah, and and not to mention the study that I read about, and there was some. I don't uh, want to call him a just, faggot, but the. Uh, hmm? uh, can I just what? That? What do you want? Well, tell me what subject we're talking about. We're, talk, we're talking Nintendo about, uh, basically, Nintendo is the whipping boy for everything that's wrong with the gaming industry, apparently. At the moment, yes, but they're the only ones that are taking risks and innovate, being innovative with what they're doing. Sure. That, that's, that's what I can add to it. Well, yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. But In fact, somebody put up a, a, a news item on the HateBit Podcast Network of Hate on, the, uh, on Facebook, and I appreciate everybody who who throws news items in there. We really appreciate it, and we'll use those in uh, upcoming episodes of the Hitman Podcast. Gu guys, we got to get out of here, but we're going to talk about this real quick. I, 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 somebody threw up uh, something about how the Wind Waker HD, which was supposed to be the software title to push the Wii U out the gate, apparently didn't do so hot uh, in its launching week in Japan. Well, number one, Zelda is not the hot ticket in Japan. It's the hot ticket in North America. Number two, I, started to, I delved a little bit deeper. 
And what they said was abysmal sales was 320,000 copies over the course of three days. <laughs> Because the, you know, because it lost it lost towards the end of the sales tracking week. Wasn't and it was like, that for digital only too? And and it was a digital only title exactly. It's like in what obscure universe is three hundred thousand copies moved in three days a bad thing? Yeah, I think you know, and and you see this. Yeah, though. Well, compared to GTA, GTA, I believe that GTA, that was more of, like, if you look how the summer sales figures went, things didn't go that great, I think, because people were saving money for GTA. That's where we are in the gaming industry. People are picking and choosing. They're not buying every fucking game because <laughs> you can call this a fucking recovery all you want, but shit is still tough in the middle class, and this is how people are doing things, and the... You know, the gaming industry, which in, you know, seven or eight years ago was completely propagated by the middle class having nothing but money to burn, and now there's less of that, and that's why we are where we are. Yeah. Yes. God, why do I always well, we ruin everything? I put all sad notes in the chat. <laughs> well, on that happy note, let's wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's Guys, we thank you. We thank each and every one of you for joining us, for pissing in the live stream, too. We'll do this again, I promise. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I want to thank everybody for joining me. The Ravishing Razor Fist. Uh, God fucking speed. Alpha Omega Sin. Uh, we'll be back soon, I assure you. Very, um, very soon. Yeah. Be sure and stay tuned to Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. And the original hate Brit, Sainted Magnus. We'll be back like Terminator. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys, and you guys have been great. We've been the Hate Bit Podcast. Happy October and happy Halloween. See ya! <laughs>